वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वॉम वेलकम वनकम नमस्कार सो हेयर इज योर एच एस पी बाबा वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर अन अकेडमी नीट इंग्लिश चैनल किड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डील विद बेस्ट रियक्शन दैट इज हेलो एल केन्स हेलो एरिंग्स फ्रॉम एन सी ई आर टी एन सी आर टी बिकॉज आई टोल यू अबाउट दी एस एन टू एंड एस एन वन एप्लीकेशन ईच एंड एवरी थिंग the basic things which are required for completing this ncert reaction just a second so i was telling you i told you each and everything regarding these reactions oh very good evening i can see each and every one in the chat please do let me know your baba is perfectly audible and visible and really if yes then first of all i would like to give you thanks lot of thanks kids for making that guitar video the periodic table video to up to that extent huge success better to say a lot of appreciating words should i use what should i use i don't know yeah guy three guy three yeah yeah i know each and every one of you now kids that's i'm perfectly audible and visible now today what i'm telling you i'm going to deal with this ncert reaction kids first of all remember that you have to be very punctual just before the examination nothing no miracle is going to happen these are studies kids one by one each reaction each and every reagent is important and this what i'm saying about ncert how to read ncert it's not that simple so whatever i'm going to tell you how to study ncert before ncert i have told you sn2 and sn1 in so detail kids isn't it now there are two options when you are going to study ncert either you are going to become wounded or you are going to become wise 99% students they get wounded because they don't know how to study and see ERT. Your HSP Baba is going to tell you kids. First of all, I've told you SN2 and SN1. Then I'm going to deal with these reactions, applications of SN2 and SN2 in NCERT because NCERT holds a hell of a lot of weightage. But how to go through those reactions that nobody knows, kids. for that we need to experience and a smart teacher and that having degree too so kids are you ready and be punctual what happens you study regularly for one hour but after one hour you skip the video don't think like i'm talking for the views i'm not going for the views if you are going to get selected that is going to pay for me and teachers respect is that only when his or her students or they are going to get selected in the examination kids so make a promise everyone that you're not going to just sit over here you sit with pen and copy your video is just running continuously and just try to note down the important points and if you really regularly studying you are really a regular student you should have ncert along with you if you have got this hello elkins and hello erins ncert that means you are supposed to sit you are supposed to sit along with your ncert and you should have to have that much basic knowledge otherwise next year also if you are not studying hard then next year you will say if i had studied hard then i would have been like this i would i would have been got the best college it's you will never get a true teacher like me this our team is really a true teachers team i i i never speak this much before starting the lecture but i am telling you kids you have to be obedient while studying so let's start kids oh my god vamsi uh, bhai sir periodic table song is super and super and super is it i have seen number of appreciating lines the 
precious words and really if it is helping you i'm here to help and to give you a lot of those things but you have to be regular you have to be punctual you have to show your perseverance then only you are going to get benefited so should i start the lecture should i start kids is everyone ready uh, what is your question so please uh, sir, answer i will let you know when i'm going to tell you about d and p block elements i will tell you the scientific stories over there the use of thermodynamics over there so no need to cram d and f or p block elements or whatever the theory is given over there in the ncrt kids i will let you know each and everything okay so don't worry whatever is given in ncrt and whatever is not given your hsp baba is there in chemistry wasim sir is there we to chemistry teachers we definitely I'm, I, I'm i'm going to promise we are going to give you full marks just you have to be regular you will get full marks this is i'm making the that promise kids now see kids so if you're new to this channel let me tell you this is your uh oh that slide is gone over there let me take that slide and let me make to reach at the top the slide was gone uh, you see at the last sometimes it happens just hold for a second it's just give me a second okay it should be over here now see kids there, this is your HSP Baba. If you're new to this channel, I have been teaching from, for the last 23 plus years. Produce number of ranks. These are the ranks of kids. And I'm having dual master's degree. MTech from HBTI Kanpur in 2004. Yes. And MSc in 1999. Gold medalist. And number of ranks. Produce. Now kids, if you're new, subscribe this channel. And other students, please smash the like buttons. Yeah, I want to see your attendance. It's once again, I'm telling you, I want to see your regularity. I want to see your attendance over there. I want to see that attendance should be increasing. Right? So, now I'm going to start with the first reaction. First reaction. Now, kids, let me tell you one more thing number of reactions are there given we are going to tell you number of reactions but if i am going to give you not to you to this reaction if anywhere i am going to give 15 star to the reaction how many stars 15 stars if i am going to draw these stars then it is going to take too much time if i am going to draw these stars then they are going to take too much time so suppose it is 3 3, 2, 2, 2, like this 15 stars. I'm not going to draw all these stars. If by chance I have given 15 stars to any reaction, that means that reaction is really very, very important for your NEAT examination as well as your board examination. Are you able to get it? And try to respond over there in the chat section. So, one reaction like this is there, name is William Sons, William Sons, synthesis of ether, synthesis of ether. Now, kids, if I tell you that how much we have to eat, uh, we have to eat ice cream, how much we are supposed to consume chocolates, how much we are supposed to consume cold drink, the answer is little bit. How much Rajma, Chawal, Chapati, Idli, Dosa we are supposed to eat the balanced diet along with the salad and fruits. Whatever the amount of fruits you want to have, you can have. It's like that. What to study and how much in depth you have to study, that is only experienced teachers going to tell you. So, Williamson synthesis of ether. This reaction will definitely come in your examination. And that's why how many stars are provided? 15 stars. 15 are not written over there, but 15 means 
this reaction each and everything even the minute thing you are supposed to know kids are you ready so what williamson said see williamson said you take rx everyone say rx along with me you are supposed to say rx and r dash o n a or r dash o k we have to understand each and everything kids now you will get r dash o r plus n a x or k x and he said the solvent you have supposed to take dry ether dry ether is an example of polar aprotic solvent but he has not talked about what type of solvent it is now see kids how the reaction is going to take place what is going to happen what we are supposed to take as reactant which reactant we have not to take that i will let you know later on but first of all rx rx is an example of alkyl halide kids alkyl halide now rona i will tell you this rona is what let me write down sodium or potassium alkoxide sodium or potassium alkoxide now this is a simple thing anyone if it's the kid is preparing for board exam for any board exam they will write like this x delta negative r delta positive R O negative Na positive. So how the reaction is going to take place? See kids, this X negative will form a bond with Na or K plus, and you will get R dash O R. Is it clear? But this is just for board examination. We have to know a little bit more if we are preparing for neat examination. Now see this reaction once again, kids. Once again, R X. This Rx can be one degree alkyl halide. That is the best. Now, in one degree, it can't be neopentyl. Can't be, can't be neopentyl. Now, what is neopentyl? CH3, C C C H3, C H3, C H2 C H two X. Now, see kids. We talk about this neopentyl. This is one degree because the X, which is attached to the carbon, this carbon is attached only with one more carbon. That's why it is one degree. But too much is sterically hindered. You can see clearly. This is one degree just for the name. Otherwise, this one degree is what to say corrupt in the name of one degree. For name, it is one degree, but is too much sterically hindered. Too much sterically hindered. So, we have not to use one degree like this. One degree means this one degree can be least sterically hindered. Least sterically hindered one degree. Or it can be two degree. Or it can be two degree. It's okay. Two degree is okay. Two degree is okay. Now, skits. Let me tell you, this can't be three degree. Can never be three degree. Can't be three degree. Can't be three degree. If you have seen my previous lectures, you know very well that Rx cannot be three degree. That means, in sense, we have to say that Rx is supposed to be, or it has to be, least sterically hindered. Now, what is that RONAC? If I talk about RONA, we will say this is being reagent. This is being reagent. That was the reactant, and this is being reagent. Now, this RO negative, we see clearly that RO negative and Na positive. What type of bond is there in between O and NAC? What type of bond? Kids, do let me know this bond. Hey, what's bond? The bond is being ionic bond ionic bond now from the market we have purchased bought rona 
but when we add it to the mixture it will break and it is going to give you ro negative ro negative either i should buy ro na or i should buy ro k both will give you ro negative now try to understand what is the difference between me reagent and nucleophile let me tell you suppose from the market you bought orange from the market you have bought orange do let me know are you going to eat orange like this or you are going to peel it you are going to remove the cover you are going to peel it out or you are going to eat orange directly no directly you are not going to eat orange you will remove cover of it and then whatever the part is left you are going to eat just like that whatever the thing whatever the chemical we are going to purchase from the market we are going to purchase from market that thing is known as reagent that thing is known as reagent and the attacking part and the attacking part is known as kids write down in the chat section if you are awake attacking part is known as what the nucleophile oblique base now kids you will say sir if you are going to buy uh, grapes if you are going to buy grapes now see kids some reagents are like this also like c2h5oh like grapes whatever the form we are going to buy from the market we are going to eat in the same form this is reagent as well as nucleophile as well as base so kids right now it is not required it is not required because it is weak it is weak it is weak but what uh, your this williamson said that that should be the strong part is strong part so everyone is able to understand what is the difference in between reagent and nucleophile it is given over there in your ncert the tabular form the table is drawn over there in your ncert on the left hand page first chapter class 12th ncert let me write down where you can see if you are not able to understand where you are going to see it see kids let me tell you class 12 part 2 part 2 i'm talking about ncert ncert first chapter first chapter so we should know what we are going to cover where it is given what we are talking about we should know each and everything are you getting my point kids see so what williamson said williamson said you are supposed to take rx plus r dash o n a now see clearly see clearly kids what type of reaction is going to take place definitely the reaction is going to take place SN2 reaction and you know very well SN2 reaction backside attack is going to take place so what product you are going to get R dash O and R try to understand this now one question arises is it possible that R and R dash should be same or they are going to be different so kids R can be equal to R dash R cannot be equal to r dash both possibilities are there they can be both the possibilities are there now see kids if i'm going to tell you the first reaction the first reaction if i take ch ray x remember that this x can be chloride bromide iodide but x cannot be fluoride why cannot be fluoride because this carbon is 2p and this fluorine is also 2p strong bonding is there so it cannot be fluoride whatever else it could be there now if i am going to write down 
C2H5ONA. It's not necessary that they are going to give the structure. Even it is possible that its name can be given over there. What's the name? Sodium ethoxide. Its name is being sodium ethoxide. Sodium ethoxide. Now, what product you are going to get? Kids, either to you should know what is the IUPAC name of that product or the general name of that product. Kids, just write down in the chat section. Just if you are able to understand, do let me know in the chat section what answer you are going to get. Kids, I am waiting for your answer. Everyone, do let me know what answer you are going to get. So, answer will be yes. I am waiting for your answer, kids. Answer will be C2H5OCH3, methoxyethane. Its name is being methoxyethane. Methoxyethane. Everyone, methoxyethane. Clear? So, everyone, if you are attentive, if you are paying attention, see some kids Vedhajanani, very good. I will let you know before the examination who is going to get the best rank in the examination. But only in that condition, if you are going to give response over here, see Vedha Janani is giving, Ashwin is giving, Aarti is going to give, very good, that's fantastic. Now, see, if I give you one question like this, like this, CH3, 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 BR, plus C2H5ONA, which ether you will get? Do let me know what ether you are going to get, kids. Do let me know which ether you are going to get. Do let me know which ether you are going to get. In the chat section, write down fast, 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 quick, kids. Write down which ether you are going to get. Wow, RT, no reaction. One answer, no reaction. No ether. Two different things are there. No reaction, no ether. Kids, reaction will be there, but answer is no ether. No ether. Reaction will be there. E2 reaction. E2 reaction means alkene will get formed. It is going to form alkene. CH3, CH3, double bond, CH2. This product's name is isobutylene. But right now, our focus is not alkene preparation our focus is on ether preparation but let me tell you this was three degree alkyl halide tertiary tertiary butyl bromide this was three degree alkyl halide and three degree alkyl halides can't give ether can't give ether and that was said by or information given by Williamson's can't give ether. Now see kids, if this reaction I am going to give you two types of reactions. See, question, question of need. This is the question of need. See, which path, question is which path, this question has already been asked in IIT also, which path will provide will provide methyl tertiary butyl ether methyl tertiary butyl ether now kids i'm going to write down the two parts immediately you have to give answer right are you ready everyone are you ready so two paths i'm going to give you path number one and path number two as quick as possible, you have to give the answer. Path number one. Path number two. Path number one, it's written like CH3 ONA CH3 whole thrice C BR. This is path number one. And this is your path number two. CH3 whole thrice C O N A plus C H 3 B R. These are the two parts. I want to see your answer as soon as possible, kids. 
this is just suppose your neat examination is going on you can take it like your exam is going on part two part two part two oh my god once again i have to appreciate each and everyone it's really really it's fantastic fantastic see kids and this is the point to be noted down my lord these kids have really given the true answer correct answer this is the reagent this is the reagent otherwise 99 of the percent student must be thinking this is a reactant this is not the reactant this is the reagent this is being reactant and this is three degree reactant reactant is also known as substrate 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 is given over there that was just the trap of the examiner and see this is the reagent reagent can be anything doesn't matter but reactant is being one degree and reactant should be given as one degree otherwise what 99 percent of the students must be searching about that reactant is given over here and reagent is supposed to be given over there and that's why they are going to get failed so kids this is going to be the e2 reaction and this is going to be the sn2 reaction and this is your answer this question has given in your ncert now kids see another question i'm going to give you see this is really going to be the fantastic question question is find out the answer till now williamson synthesis is going on question is find out the product now what reactant has been provided see kids So, can you see? Now, it's written over here C2H5ONA excess. Excess means too much. And the reaction you have to carry out. Just think for this reaction. And I'm giving you the options. Option number A. O, E, T. E, T means ethyl. ET, ET means ethyl, right? Option number B. O, ET, CN. Option number C. CL, O, ET. Option number D. So kids, quick, I want to see your answer in the chat section. What answer you are going to give? Everyone, do let me know. I am waiting for your answer. First, you just treat it like your neat examination. D, Sonthar, oh, welcome Sonthar. Inya, D, Ashwin, 3. So D, 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 maximum students are going for D. And D is being the correct answer. I can see very clearly. You are rank is you are going to get the rank D is the correct answer. See kids, this is having lone pair. You know this atom is vinylic, vinylic. This atom is vinylic, vinylic atom. Or you can see this lone pair is involved in resonance. This is doing resonance with this, and that's why due to this resonance. There is double bond character, partial double bond character in the single bond. Due to partial double bond character in single bond, partial double bond character. I've already told you these things double bond character in single bond. What is going to happen because of that? Because of that bond length will get decreased by 8 picometer means no need to remember this 8 picometer but yes decrease and bond strength will increase and that's why you can simply say this is attached with sp2 hybridized carbon 
whatever the atom is attached with sp2 hybridized is not going to leave easily now kids one question arises you will say sir br is better leaving group than chlorine so br is better leaving group than chlorine you will say like that kids remember one thing it doesn't matter who are you it matters a lot where are you that is very very important thing if both are attached on sp3 hybridized carbon then definitely bromine is going to be good leaving group but bromine's position is that it is attached to double bonded carbon and chlorine is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon so this is right here good leaving group and this is right here poor leaving group so remember one thing who are you is less important where are you is more important now see kids another question another question this question has been asked in aims as well as iit are you ready kids question is which path will give best yield of ether best yield yield you know maximum amount of ether maximum amount of ether so i am going to give you some path some routes and you are supposed to tell me the correct answer path number one path number two path number three everyone ready so in path number one i would like to say here is ch3 Hold twice CH Br plus CH3 ONA dry ether. Dry ether. Now, part number two is CH3 hold twice. C, B, R and rest of the things are remaining same and here it is given C, H, 3, C, H, 2, B, R and rest of the things are remaining same. Kids do let me know what is your answer. I am waiting for your answer and try to give the correct answer. These are the three parts. Three routes has been provided. These three routes have been provided and just do let me know. Madhavan is Madhavan Madhu is going for um, three. Everyone is going for three. The sari. So the correct answer is being absolutely correct. Third is the correct path. See kids, this is secondary. This will give you SN2 as well as E2. This is three degree. This is two degree. This is being three degree. Only E2. E2 means only alkene. And this is being one degree. And this is two degree definitely. E2 is going to be major. I will let you know when I am going to teach SN2 E2 and this will be minor. Minor major and this is 1 degree only SN2. Only SN2 means only ether. Only ether. So the best route. So kids, that is really fantastic that everyone is doing really great. Really great. Now see kids everyone see to it i am going to give you that question which has been asked six years back six years back see kids what question has been asked six years back in neat that's really best question neat six years back question same question i am going to give you neat now what they did they have taken c2 h5 oh they reacted C2H5OH with Na. They have done the reaction with sodium and they got A. A. Now, what they did, they have taken CH2, double bond CH2, and they reacted with HBr. They got B. They got B. Now, what they said, if a and B 
are going to react. If you have reacted A plus B, what product you are going to get? What is IUPAC name of that product? Kids, do let me know what is your answer. What is your answer? Yes, yes, kids, fast. This is reacting with sodium to give A, this is reacting with HBr to give B and A and B has been added and what answer, what is the IUPAC name? Ethoxy, ethane, man, wow, Ashwin, Inia, claps, really claps. Kids, you tell your parents, you tell your parents that yes, you are on the right path. If your parents are there along with you, then yes, I am telling you, yes, your kids are really doing great. This is the thing which you have to prove, kids. This is the thing. Now see, kids, this is the sodium. This will react with this and hydrogen gas will get released. Half mole of hydrogen gas is going to get released. So hydrogen gas will get released because this hydrogen is acidic for this and this is base. So this is going to be acid base neutralization half mole of hydrogen gas will get released and you will get C2H5ONA sodium ethoxide and this is electrophilic addition reaction this H positive Br negative will react and you will get CH3 CH2 Br. Now what type of reaction it is? It is Williamson's Williamson's synthesis of ether Williamson's synthesis of ether kids Williamson's synthesis of ether so your product will be both of these they are going to react Na positive and Br negative this is Na positive this is Br negative both will combine to give the answer C2H5 O C2H5 diethyl ether but they have asked the IUPAC name so it should be ethoxy ethane now kids rank deciding question I am going to give you I am going to give you top 50 rank question. Ames Delhi is the target. Are you ready? Now the question for Ames Delhi. Everyone, are you ready kids? Show me the thumbs up if you are ready. Hey everyone, if you are ready, then show me the thumbs up that yes so I am ready. Now the question is for, now this question is for Ames Delhi. Target is Ames Delhi. Ames Delhi target that means question for top 50 rank question for top 50 rank so everyone ready question is that they have provided CH2BR CH2 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 O N A. Now definitely you can see and you can give the answer that this is being Br negative and this is being Na positive. So this O negative will combine with this carbon positive to form what? To form what kids? To form a ring. Ring is how many atoms ring? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 member ring. But this is not the question. This is not the question. Question is to form this molecule, to form this ring, to form this ring by intramolecular nucleophilic substitution reaction. This is being an example of intramolecular Williamson synthesis or SN2 reaction. The question is to form this high concentration is required or low concentration a high concentration of reactant high concentration of reactant option b low concentration of reactant low concentration of reactant which is favorable out of these two which is favorable this is the question which concentration is favorable Kids, 
do let me know what's the answer low concentration jyoti is saying low concentration jyoti is saying low concentration low concentration akanksha welcome saying low concentration yes kids how do you know i am not going to teach i am not going to teach you know each and everything how do you know kids you know each and everything how do you know just do let me know that every time you are going to give the correct answer how is it possible so how you have given the correct answer yes if the concentration is more then more molecules will come together and intermolecular is also possible now if the molecules are far away if the molecules are far away they will get better chance this molecule will not be able to react with the other molecule so your answer is absolutely correct if concentration is low molecules won't be able to get won't be able to react with each other with each other that means no intermolecular no intermolecular reaction only intramolecular so absolutely your answer is 100% correct i have become fan of you your stupendous performance and this is really i am feeling a complex categorically i'm telling you this particular thing that yes you are rocking you are rocking you are rocking no one is going to give you the correct analysis for you but yes kids this is the thing this is the thing that's why i'm telling you keep on writing in the chat section that's why low temperature oh my god jyoti you are really rocking that's buddha surya what happened Buddha Surya, what happened? Buddha Surya, you are my favorite student. What happened? Buddha Surya? Hey, Buddha Surya. You want to write, you are not talking to me? Or you don't talk to me? Buddha Surya, just do let me know. I am not talking to you or I am not supposed to talk to you. You are the really very fantastic student, Buddha Surya. Categorically means, with the uh, categorically means what to say, uh, with, with clear picture that I am going to give you the exact picture, exactly true picture, very fine picture, very fine uh, the analysis. Oh, I am wishing you, Buddha Surya, thank you, thank you, thank you, oh my God. I have uh, actually I was busy in teaching and that's why I was unable to see your um, that happy birthday comment. Thank you, thank you, Buddha Surya. Now see, get see each and everything I've told you about Williamson's synthesis of ether. Now see, kids, let me tell you one more thing. See, if if ring off, ring off. Six, five, or seven is formed. Is formed during intramolecular cyclization. Intramolecular cyclization. Then go for. Then go for. Intramolecular. Otherwise, otherwise, if ring is not formed like this, then we have to go for intramolecular. Let me tell you one more thing very clearly, kids. See, if I talk about intramolecular and intermolecular, what is the difference? Let's see with the eye of thermodynamics. Thermodynamics, see, kids. Thermodynamics, what thermodynamics says, see kids, let me tell you with the eye of thermodynamics, 
if I say that this is the reaction Br CH2 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 ONA so once I am going to deal with intermolecular and once I am going to deal with intramolecular 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 atom string, 5 atom string now see this is the compound plus NABR will eliminate out. Now if intermolecular this is intra, this is being intra and if I am going intermolecular what product I am going to get intermolecular. Now I will get uh, CH2, 1, 2, 3, 4, CH2, 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 O, then 4 CH2, CH2, uh, whole 4, then O, then CH2, whole 4, like this, it will keep on repeating. Now see kids, if I say 10 molecules called repeat it, then molecules 10 molecules has become 1 10 molecules have become 1 that means change in entropy in this delta s is negative delta s is negative and here one molecule one molecule has converted into two molecules one molecule one molecule has converted into two molecules so what will you say the change in entropy is positive or negative here delta s is positive kids do let me know which reaction is being more favorable which reaction is being more favorable intermolecular or intramolecular thermodynamics is favoring favoring which reaction it is in favorable of which conditions what do you think it's intramolecular or intramolecular See here the entropy is getting decreased. Entropy is getting decreased and here the entropy is getting increased. And you know thermodynamics says that in any irreversible process the entropy is getting increased. The energy of this universe is remaining constant but day by day entropy is getting increased. So, intramolecular is favorable always, but keep in brain only you can do the cyclation when the ring of 6 membered, 5 membered, or 7 membered is getting formed. Just you have to keep that thing in your brain. Suppose if the question is given in an exam like this, this question has been given. See, kids, if the question is coming like this, once again the question for top 50 rank question, top. 50 rank question, top 50 rank question, see kids, question is given like this, Br, CH2, CH2, ONA, now what do you think, what type of reaction is going to take place, intermolecular or intramolecular, dry ether as the reagent, what do you think? What type of reaction is going to take place? And here it's given high concentration also given. High concentration. Now, your option A is, option A is SA2. Option B is um, SN2. One is being intramolecular. One is being intramolecular. C is E2. D is E1. So, what's your answer, kids? I'm waiting for your answer. Everyone, intramolecular. Yes. Let me check it out what answer others are giving. Kids, A. A is the correct answer because A is absolutely correct answer because the ring, if you're going to form intramolecular, the ring is going to form one, two, three membered, and three membered ring will have very high strain high ring strain high ring strain so this will not get formed will not be formed and this is going to be the wrong answer this is going to be the wrong answer so the ether will be the product ether like ch2 
सो ईथर विल बी द प्रोडक्ट ईथर सॉरी ईथर विच ईथर पॉलीमर पॉलीमर get still now everything is clear one reaction till now i have told you now see the ncert second reaction application number 2 are you ready everyone do let me know in the chat section show me the thumbs up if you are ready if everyone is ready show me the thumbs up akanksha has shown so me the bhomik hi welcome everyone hit the like buttons first of all show me your attendance yes hit the like button smash the like buttons i want to see kids day by day i'm just definitely coming close to you one day i will call your parents also even though it is being online medium but yes our bonding should be that much strong that whenever we are required we are going to help you and whenever i'm asking kids do this homework that do homework we have to make such type of bond very good very good second application now see in this a part r x plus kcn what is kcn potassium cyanide kcn the product will be rcn 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 plus kx but if you take the b reaction b reaction rx plus agcn silver cyanide this is given in an ncert then you will not get cyanide in place of cyanide you are going to get rnc rnc gets rnc plus agx is there any difference right now i have not given the explanation yes thank you shiv kumar welcome shiv kumar thayo cyanide oh no it's not thayo Ashun, no sulfur is there. Kids, everyone, try to understand. Thio word we are going to use when sulfur is there. This is cyanide. This is being cyanide, and this is being isocyanide. Isocyanide. So, this is the thing which I have told you. Now, let me tell you the explanation. First of all, just try to. keep it in your brain as it is what the reaction is given then i will let you know the explanation how many of you are ready to see the explanation of these two reactions so i am going to explain it see the reaction a rx i talk about reaction a rx plus kcn you bought this reagent from the market in the market you will get this reagent name is potassium cyanide what is the name potassium cyanide you have to remember the names also potassium cyanide potassium cyanide this is the reagent this is the reagent kids this is the reagent you are you have gone to the market and you ask the shopkeeper hey hey he please give me potassium cyanide he has given you potassium cyanide now you brought potassium cyanide now you add it to this reaction potassium cyanide say oh i can't hold this bonding i am being a metal i am being a metal and the cyanide cyanide is being non metal non metal so what type of bonding we are having what type of relation we are having what name should i give this to bond what name should i give to this bond hey this potassium is asking to this carbon hey what name should i give to our relationship i'm being covalent bond or being the metallic bond or being the ionic bond or being the ionic bond this is saying oh we are holding 
electrostatic force of attraction that is being ionic bond. And in the solvent we have broken, you are the potassium and I am being the cyanide. This is being the nucleophile. So reagent and nucleophile are being different. But nitrogen is saying, oh, how you are talking like this? Even I am having lone pair. See how this nitrogen is talking. Nitrogen is saying, hey, I have got lone pair. You have got negative charge. Both want to donate. Carbon is saying, hey, I will form, I am going to form a bond with this R. Nitrogen is saying, no, I am going to form a bond with this. Both of them are shouting. Carbon is saying, I am going to form a bond with this R positive. Nitrogen is saying, no, I will form a bond with this. So who will form? Both are ready to form bond. So remember that. Whenever, whenever there are two donor sites, two donor sites, but at a time, at a time, at a time, only one is donating, only one is donating then this type of nucleophile will have a special name will have will have special name sir what happened to hello group i will let you know i will let you know i will let you know now see this is donor this is saying i will donate and this is saying i will donate it is having negative charge so who is better donor this is better donor this is being better donor why better donor because it is having negative charge, extra electron, extra electron. So it is going to donate and this is going to donate. So you will get as the product RCN, RCN and this K plus will go with X negative. So this will form KX. I hope this is clear. Now how the question will be asked? See how the question will be asked kids you can take the screenshot if you want to take you can now see how the question will be asked see kids question will be asked like this ch3 ch2 br has been allowed to react with potassium cyanide and the answer will be they are asking about the product i'm going to give you the options don't worry option number a ethyl cyanide option number b propane nitrile propane nitrile option number c both Option number D, none. See, it's absolutely awesome, awesome options I have given. Just do let me know what's your answer. Akanksha Singh is going for A. Janav Abdullah is going for C. Okay, okay. Ashwin is asking one question. I will, I will let you know. Ashwin, I will let you know. Now, see, kids. See kids, the correct answer is, correct answer is both. See, why both? This Br negative will go along with K positive. This is eliminated out. And what's your answer? Your answer is CH3, CH2, CN. Just see, if I say, if I say this is being ethyl, then this is being cyanide, ethyl cyanide. Now, if I say what's the IUPAC name? One, two, three. The IUPAC name is propane nitrile. Propane nitrile is being IUPAC name kids. And this is being general name. So whenever, whenever, what 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 knowledge we are going to get from here? Whenever both is given, always try all the options. Kids, whenever both is given, always try both the options. Otherwise, you will get the wrong answer. Kids, everyone is able to understand. 
whenever both are given both is given always try both the options now previous question uh, ashwin is asking both are having extra electron let me tell you see kids it was like this k c n you just let me know one thing ashwin you do let me know one thing suppose this is carbon hey carbon carbon this is carbon and potassium has given one crore to carbon potassium potassium has given potassium said hey you just take hey you take my one crore one crore he got carbon got from potassium potassium has donated potassium and one crore from mummy one crore mummy has given and one crore potassium has given now he is having two crore rupees two crore rupees now this nitrogen is also having two crore rupees but two crore rupees given by mummy only given by mummy given by mummy this potassium is some unknown person unknown person unknown person he has thrown he has thrown his money now kids do let me know who is more rich who is more rich carbon has got 1 crore rupee from mamma and 1 crore rupee from potassium this nitrogen has got 2 crore rupees from mummy only who is being more rich nitrogen electron are given by mummy only but carbon has got 1 crore rupee from unknown person who is being more rich ashwin do let me know who is being more rich okay both are both are having eight electrons this is also having eight electrons that is also having eight electrons now you will say sir definitely both are being rich but you know that who is having more electron less proton more electron less proton see kids this is having seven protons in the nucleus and it is having just six protons whose electron is going away whose effective nuclear charge is less its effective nuclear charge is less because it is having one negative charge its effective nuclear charge is more so who can hold tightly its electron nitrogen can hold its electron more tightly as compared to carbon carbon's electronegativity is less less electronegativity less electronegativity so it cannot hold the electron easily and this is being more electronegative more electronegative kids you know that whenever two persons are going to eat pani puri or something special during your school time you you remember then carbon uh, nitrogen was saying oh let me take out money let me from the pocket let me take out money and nit and nitrogen is doing like this let me take out money and carbon has given the bill has given the bill you you remember you remember better you remember kids are you able to understand so both are having equal money but this carbon is having one extra loosely bonded 1 crore rupee he will say oh have it enjoy everyone is able to understand kids do let me know are you able to understand that both are having eight electrons but these eight electrons are of nitrogen itself but this electron does not belong to nitrogen this carbon has got one extra electron and you know that electrons i treat as money and atoms i treat as human beings you know very well for me all atoms are like what all atoms are like human beings and electron for me is like money so whenever we are having extra money donated by somebody else we are going to spend it more freely kids let me have a sip of water you also keep yourself hydrated kids always study with water have some nuts have some uh, fruits fruits you know fructose they are really very good fructose fruits now kids are you liking it are you enjoying it keep yourself refreshed 
if you're getting tired, you won't be able to study with that much of passion, with that much of positivity. If you want to have positive, if you want to cross the energy barrier, you have to sit along with some food, some water, something like that. Thank you, Shiva Kumar. Thank you. Thank you. Say Sadri. Thank you. Thank you. Really thanks. Always keep on sharing and sharing is caring, right? Now see kids. Let me tell you the story of AG. Why AG has formed isocyanide. This is the concept which we are going to reveal today. So is everyone ready? Yes, sir. We are ready. Now see kids. I am going to reveal the concept of isocyanide. Why it has formed Ranisa. So see, Rx plus AgCn, AgCn, it has formed Rani Sa, Rani Sa, one coordinate bond, dative bond, dative bond, Rani Sa plus AgX. Why it has formed like this? You bought AgCn from the market, AgCn. And AG was telling this carbon, hey, what type of bond is between you and me? AG is talking to carbon, hey carbon, what should I say? What type of bond is it? Carbon said, I don't know. I don't know. Just let's go to HSP Baba. They came to me. I said, hey, you know chemical bonding. They said, yes, I know chemical bonding. I told them, have you heard the name of Pajan Bhai? Have you heard the name of Pajan Bhai? They said, yes, I know Pajan. Then I said, I asked them what Pajan said. They said, Pajan said, if any element is having pseudo inert configuration, AG is having pseudo inert configuration. AG is having what type configuration? Pseudo inert. Now you will say, sir, what is that pseudo inert configuration? Pseudo inert configuration. Now, the pseudo inert configuration, you can just remember copper plus, silver plus, gold plus, zinc, cadmium, mercury 2 plus. They all have 18 electrons. Oh my God, false octet. You know everything. Oh, great. I am feeling accomplished. How great students are there. Oh my God. Pseudo inert configuration. So, this bond is covalent bond. This bond is covalent bond. Covalent character is more. Here, covalent character is more. Now, this Ag is not going to give electron to this carbon. Potassium has given one electron to the carbon. Carbon was happy. Yay! I have got one extra electron. But Ag is saying, oh, in between mu and me and you, there is mutual sharing of electron. I am not going to donate electron to you. You just live like this. So who is having electron to be donated? Only nitrogen is having electron to be donated. Carbon cannot donate. So this time nitrogen is donor. Now who is going to form a bond with this R positive? Who is going to form a bond with this R positive? Definitely nitrogen is going to form a bond with R positive. Now kids, have you ever eaten grapes having seeds? Have you ever eaten fruits having some small small seeds like bear, plum? Have you ever eaten? Do let me know. Hey kids, do let me know. Have you ever eaten plum or the grapes with seeds? Suppose, Suppose I have taken one fruit having some seeds. What I will do? Then I will throw that seed. Then I will throw that seed. So kids, over here this AgCn is reagent as well as nucleophile. This is your reagent as well as nucleophile. Once this nitrogen is going to donate on R+, Later on, he will throw this Ag plus just like from the plum or the grapes. We eat like this. Mm -hmm. We throw the seeds. 
they will throw no sir pomegranate we eat seeds kids sandy tricks let me tell you there are two types of persons some are like that pomegranate they are going to eat the seeds they are going to throw and some sometimes we are going to eat the seeds it all depends how sweet the seeds are there how uh, potential the seeds are having so two options are there right so anyways then later on they will throw ag and then the product will be r and c r and c now see how the question will be asked see kids this is really the best question you will enjoy this question fantastic awesome question awesome question super duper question kids try to see to it super duper awesome question the question is ch3 ch2 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 br has been allowed to react with once it has been allowed to react with potassium cyanide and next time it has been allowed to react with AgCl, potassium cyanide, AgCl. Now, it has given product A and B. Now, the question is, which will have more number of carbons? Question is, which will have more number of carbons in the parent chain? Out of A and B, which will have more number of carbons in the parent chain? Mr. Shadri is saying, sir, please don't judge by seeing someone answers. Be repressive. Okay, okay. Yes. I liked it. Mr. Shadri's view, I liked. Really appreciating. First of all, let me clap for Mr. Shadri. Eye-opening, eye-opening comment I have seen. That's really awesome. Some are droppers. That's a dreamers. And some are really freshers. So kids, it's not like that. I'm always saying we have to start from zero level and you all have potential. For me, each and every student is really in my heart. And if you are really working hard, your success is waiting. So everyone is important to me. So A, everyone is writing a is the correct answer. Absolutely, A is the correct answer. Kids, A is the correct answer. See why? A is having 1, 2, 3, 4 and cyanide. 1, 2, 3, 4 and cyanide. It is having how many carbons in the parent chain? It is having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pentane nitrile, pentane nitrile, and this compound C, CH3, CH2, 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 N coordinate bond C. Now, here, how many carbons in the parent chain? 1, 2, 3, 4. Butane isonitrile. Its answer is butane isonitrile. Now, kids, after this, I am going to give you one question. And that question, if you are going to get the correct answer, if you are going to get the correct answer for that question, I will give you one chocolate. Sure, for sure. So, are you ready? So, everyone is ready. Everyone is ready. It's not nitrite. Buddha Surya. Hey, Buddha Surya. Not nitrite, kids. It's nitrile. See the difference. It's not nitrite. 
nitrite no baba no don't write nitrite wrong it's wrong it's not t it's l l l for lala laddu laddu it's nitrile baba it's nit rile c t n l t for tomato t for tomato na baba na l for any vegetables name l any vegetables name l hey baba hey baba it's not t it's not t it's l l for laddu l l for laddu laddu nitrile l l lichi finger lady finger yes lady finger it's laddu lady finger lady finger lady finger it's not tomato baba it's not tomato it's not tomato it's lady finger everyone got it hey everyone got it kids do let me know everyone got it buddha surya is it clear don't do that mistake never do that mistake kids i will give you chocolate yeah very smart girl likita i will i will i will yes i will make now see kids question is question is sim 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 question is ch3 ch ch3 br plus casino 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 now find out the answer options are options are the first option is iso butero night trial night trial l for lady's finger the second option is being propyl cyanide no isopropyl cyanide iso propyl cyanide the third option is being 2 methyl propane nitrile propane nitrile l and d option is all of these all of these kids what's your answer i will wait for your answer kids you are just be baba is waiting third option ashin krishna is going for the third option jyoti is going for all of these shubhasri is going for c akanksha singh is going for d maximum students are going for d and c so let's see what is the correct answer so kids so sadri singh some good some gods will be in the form of human example at this vivas your many students will be happy in future only because of you thank you thank you for understanding me so shadri really kids when you are going to get the rank now i'll be your hsp baba will be the happiest person my aim is my team same is an academy this channel same is to give everyone the best education so that they should get the government medical seat no need of waste of money no need of to waste the career whatever the things gets really so the correct answer is correct answer is hey sim sim before i'm going to tell you that correct answer those who have joined right now smash the like button i want to see these likes should go up to 90 at least right now 90 before i'm going to disclose the answer i want to see your attendance if attendance is not there regularity is not there 83 84 83 84 how many times should i count 83 84 85 
85. It has reached to 85. Now I'm going to disclose the answer. Till that time you can make it 90. Okay. Now see, this is going to react with this. So you got the answer like this. CH3. CH, CH3 and CN. Now the question has been asked in AIMS. The question was like this. This compound's name is. This compound's name is. The reaction they have not given in the AIMS examination. They have just simply asked what is the name of this compound. Let me take fresh page and let me tell you the name of that compound C with the I C. This is the compound CH3 CH CH3 and if I write like this what will you say it's this much part is what this much part is isopropyl and that part is cyanide okay this is being isopropyl and that is being cyanide fine is it fine is it fine one name now see second name if i write like this ch3 ch3 ch2 and if i write ch3 ch ch3 ch and if i write ch3 ch ch3 and c can you see monovalent divalent trivalent monovalent divalent trivalent whenever it is monovalent we used to write l l we'll write iso this much is iso and how many carbons four butyryl iso butyryl iso butyryl iso butyryl Isobutyryl, butyryl, wrong. Isobutyryl, and this is isobutyro. Oh, oh, you must have seen one more with three idiots. Bethi hawa sa thavo, yar hamara thavo, kaha gaya wo? Dhuno. Oh, 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 bebo. Oh, oh, isobutyro. Monovalent L, divalent L. Trivalent O, 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 benzyl, benzyl, benzo, same, same like this, same like this, benzyl, benzyl, benzo, benzyl, benzyl, benzo, this, this is benzyl, 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 monovalent, benzyl, this one is benzo, benzo, no, benzyl, 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 divalent, and this is being benzo. Benzyl, benzyl, benzo, benzyl, benzyl, benzo, oh. So this is isobutro. Now what name I can write like this, see? If I write like this, CH3, 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 C triple bond like this. How much? This is isobutro, rho. And if I add nitrogen over here, then I will write isobutyro and for this I will write nitrile, nitrile. So these are two common names and the third one is IUPAC name, IUPAC name. If I write IUPAC name 1, 2, 3, I will write 2 methyl propane nitrile. So everyone, is it clear that all the options are correct? All the options are correct. Are you able to understand everyone? So everyone, wherever you are seated, right, say, Benzyl, benzyl, benzo, benzyl, benzyl, benzo. No secrets. Each and everything I have explained. Now, whenever the question is going to come in exam, always see to it. From the market, we bought casino, casino, casino. It has broken down to sino, 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 and it has formed the product racino, racino, racino. So. From the market we bought casino, casino, broken down to sino and the product is racino, casino, sino, racino, casino, sino, racino, casino, sino, racino. Everyone say 
Casino, sino, racino. Casino, sino, racino. You must be thinking, Baba has got more mad. <laughs> kids. Casino, sino, racino. Casino, sino, racino. This is casino. Casino, casino. Mm, sino. Racino, racino, racino. Casino, sino, racino. Benzil, benzil, benzo. Benzil, benzil, benzo. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now see, next application number three. Is everyone ready? Is everyone ready for the application number three? Third application. Now, if we are going to do reaction of Rx, plus KNO2. Now, what do you think? What product you are going to get? Just to let me know. Let me check it out. What product you are going to form? Let me see your experience. European language. Yeah, Jyoti. Definitely, definitely. Right. Enjoying class very much. Thank you, sir. Oh, really? Really? Oh, really? Now, see what product you are going to get. So everyone is saying nutrition eating. <laughs> your, your sessions are so energetic, sir. Thank you. Oh my God. See, it's fantastic. Isonitrite. No, isonitrite. No. You will get R O N double bond O. This is known, this is known as nitrite, Buddha Surya. What the Buddha Surya has written earlier. It's the same thing. It's not nitroethane. No, Vedhajanini. Vedhajanini, no nitroethane. No, Baba, no. No, no. It is known as alkyl nitrite. Buddha Surya, what has written earlier? Alkyl nitrite. See for tomato. Now, see why. Let me explain why. From the market you brought or bought, Kono. What? Kono. Say everyone. Kono. Kono has broken to oh no. Kono has broken to oh no. And it has formed the product Rono. Kono, Ono, Rono. Kono, Ono, Rono. Kono, Ono, Rono. Kono, Ono, Rono. Say everyone. Kono. Because you're, you, you're seeing it like KNO2. No, it's not KNO2. It is Kono. Kono has broken down to Ono and has formed the product Rono. Rono. So everyone say along with me Kono Ono Rono, Kono Ono Rono, Kono Ono Rono, Kono Ono Rono, Kono Ono Rono. Then I will explain. Then I will explain. Then I will let you know the reason for it. Kono ono rono, kono ono rono. Now see, from the market you brought this reagent, this reagent, and this reagent because of this ionic bond, because of this ionic bond, this is being ionic bond, this ionic bond has broken down into this. Now oxygen is having negative charge, nitrogen is having lone pair. And it will show resonance. See, the resonance should be like this. Oxygen, oxygen, delta negative, delta negative, and this. This is ambidentate nucleophile. Why it is being ambidentate nucleophile? There are two donor sites. Nitrogen is saying, I will donate electron because I have got lone pair. And oxygen is saying, I will donate. So who is going to donate? Kids, do let me know. Who will be donor in this condition? When there are two donor sites, the one who is having negative charge, Kono Ono Rono, oh my God, you are following it. Kono Oxygen will be donor, yeah. Oxygen is having negative charge. So oxygen is donor. This is going to be donor because it is having extra electron, extra electron. So that's why nitrite is the product, everyone. Now, suppose the examiner is going to give you a question like this, CH3. CH2 Br plus KNO2. 
So what answer you will get? Your answer should be CH3, CH2, O and double bond O, ethyl nitride, ethyl nitride, nitride, ethyl nitride. Is it clear? This is your answer. Now kids. Number of kits they have given the answer is nitroalkane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now see, now see. Now this was the A reaction, third application's A reaction. Now let me deal with B reaction. B reaction. If the reaction has given like this, Rx, Rx plus KNO, AgNO2, AgNO2, AgNO2. Now you can see very clearly kits. Now, no need to cram it. You will get nitroalkane, nitroalkane, nitroalkane. Now, see why you are going to get nitroalkane. Just see, this is the reagent. You bought it from the market. Now, this reagent, how to write it down? I will write like this Ag O N double bond O. Now, Ag will say, hey, oxygen. What's the relationship in between me and you? What should I call this bond? Everyone just do let me know what the relationship in between Ag and oxygen. Do let me know. Everyone, what the bond is. This bond, should I say what type of bond it is being? So, according to Phajan Bhaiya, Phajan Babu, Phajan Bro, Phajan's rule, Anna Phajan, Anna Phajan, Anna Phajan, this is being covalent bond, covalent bond. Now this is not going to break. It is having maximum character. Now oxygen is having its lone pair. Nitrogen is having its lone pair. These oxygens are having more lone pair. Oxygens are having more number of lone pairs. Nitrogen is just having one lone pair. Then who is going to be donor? Who is going to be donor? This oxygens are having more number of electrons. See kids. This oxygen is having zoom, 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 zoom. Nitrogen just having one lone pair. Who is going to donate? Who is going to donate? Oxygen. Akanksha is saying oxygen. This are a pseudo octet examples. Let me tell you. Pseudo octet examples are like this Ag plus copper plus copper, silver, gold. They are having one electron, so they, they will donate one electron. Zinc is having two electrons, so zinc, cadmium, mercury. These are the elements. You will study these elements in periodic table, chemical bonding. You got it? Jyoti, clear? These are having pseudo inert configuration, pseudo. Jyoti, is it clear? Okay, why they are having pseudo inert? Should I let you know? Because you see copper, copper is 3D10, 4S1. So it will donate one electron of S, 3D10, completely filled, right? No secrets. So this is covalent bond. Your answer, maximum students, they have written oxygen and some are going for nitrogen kits. One human is having 4 crore rupees, but it is really miser, naughty miser. One is nitrogen, less electronegative. He is saying, oh, even though I am having less money, but I am having big heart, I will be better donor. Now see, oxygen's electronegativity is how much? Oxygen's electronegativity is 3.5. Nitrogen's electronegativity is 3. Who is more pulling its electron towards itself. Oxygen saying, I am being more electronegative. I will not donate my electron more electronegative. So, will not donate and it will be donor. Nitrogen will be donor. Nitrogen here will be donor. Although both were having ambidentate nucleophile, but one is going to donate another one. That's why nitroalkane you are going to get product. Now, see kids, have one sip of water, everyone. Everyone. Now, oh my God, 96 likes, make it 100 at least, make it 100, then I'm going to deal with best reaction kids, best reaction, that is 
halogen exchange, swartz and pinkelstein, but make it 100, only 4, 4 likes away from 100, just 99, oh my god, my kids, lovely, lovely, wow, it's 101, oh great, great, great. Have you had water? Everyone, have you had water? Kids, do let me know. Have you had water? Everyone, do let me know. Now, see. Application number 4 or 3. Application number 4. Everyone, you have to take care of yourself. Then, you have to take care of parents. And always talk to your parents. Not too much. But always in a day, always talk to your brother, sister, parents. So they will feel that this child is doing, it's okay, it's normal. Now see kids, application number fourth. Fourth application. Halogen exchange. Halogen exchange. Now, kids, this halogen exchange reaction, should I let you know in a single path or with easy concept or should I make you confuse? And after confusion, I will take you out from that, the big sea or the big river or big the whole big hole what do you want this should i move smoothly or should i tell you what the if and buts are there easy path ship kumar is saying easy path everyone do let me know which path you want to follow now first of all let me write down how much is written in ncrt what is written in your ncrt let me tell you that in NCRT, according to NCRT, this reaction is like this. Rx, according to NCRT, according to NCRT, Rx plus where X is equal to either chlorine or bromine plus NaI and dry acetone, dry acetone dry acetone example of polar a protic solvent and they you will get r i plus nax as the precipitate only this much is written in ncrt if you want to follow ncrt only this much is required if there is extra benefit in tough path then teach yes it's why I told you why I have asked you this thing. It's just try to understand. What do you think? This reaction is okay or smooth? You apply your brain. If you have knowledge of SN2 reaction, if you have knowledge of SN2 reaction, then only. If you don't have knowledge of SN2 reaction, then don't apply your brain. If you have knowledge of SN2 reaction, then try to apply your brain. Only try to apply your brain if you have knowledge of, if you have knowledge of, If you know SN2 reaction, then apply brain, then apply brain, otherwise no need. It's, if you know SN2 reaction, then try to apply your brain and once you, if you are applying brain, then you will come to know, you will come to know that in polar aprotic solvent, who is best nucleophile? In PAS, in polar aprotic solvent, who is better nucleophile? Chloride is the best nucleophile, then chloride, then bromide, then iodide. This I taught you. Taught you or not, just to let me know. This thing I taught you or not. This is the nucleophilicity order. Am I right or not? So, 
So the question arises, how is it possible that I negative is displacing chloride and bromide? As we know that iodide is not a better nucleophile ionide in polar aprotic solvent, fluoride is best and this is poorest nucleophile. In polar aprotic solvent, iodide is poorest nucleophile. Then how is it possible that it is going to displace chloride and bromide? This is the question. Is this a burning question or not? Kids do let me know. Is it a burning question or not? Kids, is it a genuine question or not? Do let me know. Is it a genuine question or not? Kids do let me know. Everyone do let me know. Yes. Now see how this reaction is taking place. See kids. See kids. Let me tell you the reason. Just try to understand. No one will let you know and the examiner will ask. Because assertion and reasoning is there. Rx plus NaI in dry acetone is giving out Ri plus NaX. Kids, you know very well one thing like dissolves like. This thing you know or not? Do you know or not? Like dissolves like. Like dissolves like. This is the first point. And if I say NaCl, NaBr, and NaI, which is maximum covalent according to Fajan's rule, you know Fajan's rule, you know very well Fajan's rule, which is maximum covalent. So Fajan's rule says, Fajan's rule says, polarization is directly proportional to size of an ion, size of an ion. And we know that maximum sizes of iodide then bromide according to that these two are maximum covalent this is maximum covalent and this is being maximum ionic right maximum ionic till now everything is clear to all of you kids do let me know do let me know till now everything is clear to all of you yes now kids, this acetone is polar aprotic solvent that means it is covalent solvent, covalent or organic solvent, like dissolves like, as we know that like dissolves like, who will get precipitated out? This is maximum soluble NaI, NaI is maximum soluble in dry acetone, maximum soluble and NaCl, NaBr, NaCl, NaBr will precipitate out, will precipitate out because they are being ionic, as they are being ionic will precipitate out kids and once they have precipitated out they will be out of the solution, they will settle down and Lee Chatelier principle says, if you remove product, so which principle is applicable over here, Lee Chatelier principle and this reaction is reversible, then only, then only one scientist will start moving, that Lee Chatelier principle says, if you remove out product, then reaction will go in the forward direction, reaction will move in the forward direction kids. So according to Lee Chatelier's principle, it's given in NCRT that according to Lee Chatelier's principle, if product is removed, 
if product is removed you will get more product you will get reaction to move in forward direction reaction in forward direction gets everyone is able to understand do let me know everyone is able to understand gets you are liking it the in depth knowledge in depth knowledge now this is the a part and this reaction is known as finkelstein reaction this reaction is known as Finkelstein. Everyone say along with me Finkelstein reaction. Finkelstein reaction. 15 star. How many stars? 15 star. Very, very important. Very, very important. 15 star. 15 stars, kids. Always remember this reaction. If you are not able to understand the mechanism, at least just to remember what has happened. That this let me repeat once again how many of you want to know this reason once again gets how many of you want to know once again the reason if you are not able to understand gets to let me know okay now see everyone in this covalent solvent this is covalent this is soluble that means this is in ionic form this is in ionic form and this is being no sorry this is covalent this is covalent this is more soluble that means it is soluble but this nacl is in ionic it will precipitate out and see they have precipitated nacl got precipitated nabr got precipitated that means in the beaker where the reaction is taking place they have become solid now the solid cannot participate in the reaction that means they have settled down that means they have separated out of the reaction that means product has eliminated out and you must have studied lee chatelier principle have you studied lee chatelier's principle lee chatelier principle says if you remove product equilibrium will go more in the forward direction if you add more reactant then it will go in the forward direction if you remove out product then equilibrium will go in the forward direction although this reaction is slow that means out of thousand molecules if 10 molecules of iodide are moving out this x then they are safe rest others will get precipitated out and those who got precipitated they won't be able to participate just like in your childhood you must be playing a statue once we are saying hey shamu get statue so he won't be able to participate in the in that whatever the thing is going on now i hope that it's clear to each and everyone now b part is swartz reaction b part of halogen exchange is swartz reaction which reaction gets this is also 15 star 15 stars gets given in your NCRT. Swords, swords. It's not swag. <laughs> People mostly they, they are calling it swag. It's not swag. Swords, swords, swords. Everyone says swords, swords. Everyone. Rx, where x is equal to either chloride or bromide. Rx is reacting with some specific metal chlorides some specific metal fluorides and you will get rf rf now kids number of times this question has been asked how will you prepare rf because rf can't be prepared by frs frf frs are of hydrocarbons when I was telling you FRSR of hydrocarbon, I told you, no, chloroalkane can't be prepared. Now see kids, should I tell you one thing, how to learn it? In this reaction, in the product, I was there. In Maharashtra, I means mother. I, I, when F is written, Finkelstein, F means I, F means father, I means I. And here, 
in swartz reaction swartz reaction swag of father father has been prepared there i was prepared here f is prepared now see kids how to remember this metal fluoride see kids fluoride trick i am going to give you a trick trick for fluorides fluorides of fluorides of antimony cobalt silver mercury fluorides of antimony cobalt silver and mercury now how to learn it just think about it just try to make one code because this is really very very important examiner will definitely ask you about this now try to make it uh, try to make trick for this how to learn it kids just try it out try to make one trick for it is there anyone who is going to make trick for it yes f for florida florida auntie cobra hug silver silver hug auntie cobra florida can you make one trick for it is there anyone wow kira k a r a thank you thank you thank you kira thank you now how to make trick kids everyone just try it out this is auntie auntie cobra auntie has seen cobra and given hug to silver auntie when auntie has seen cobra given silver hug to father oh great i think state bank college silver mercury oh my god let me see state bank college very good very good state bank college state bank college silver mercury but how will you remember that this this was in this was in swartz reaction swartz swartz we have to make it trick like that it should swartz it should come in swartz because number of reactions when you are going to study number of reactions at last in the um, neat examination you won't be able to remember that this these elements were belonging to swartz reaction swartz florida just just try to learn it i don't think there is any trick for it okay will you learn it like this only okay state bank college silver mercury state bank college silver mercury and swartz 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 okay fluorides uh, fluorides went to state bank college to make swartz watch oh my god very good this one is shiv kumar fluorides went to state bank college fluorides went to state bank college to make swartz watch with silver and mercury this is fantastic shiv kumar wow let me write down fluorides went to state bank fluorides went to super 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 fluorides went to state bank college to make swartz watches swartz watches swartz watch with silver and mercury wow fantastic fantastic now let me write down let me write down shiv kumar everyone everyone clap for shiv kumar and not only shiv kumar jyoti also because this is blend of blend of two persons those who have tried so jyoti and shiv kumar claps for jyoti and shiv kumar that what a brilliant trick fluorides went to fluorides went to sb college to make swartz batch swartz not batch swartz watch with silver and mercury with silver and mercury
have i written clearly, clearly kids have i written the same thing which was required from jyoti and shivkumar that's really fantastic that's the code is really fantastic now kids application number application number fifth fifth application see to it everyone fifth application kids i don't think right now any break is required okay i don't think any break is required right now is it okay is it okay kids now kids have you seen one thing now between you and me and between yourself the bond is becoming strong kids i know mahak arora mahak arora who got third rank all india third rank in names she was having one group not only mahak arora got the rank there was parul veri there was there was some other kids also right now kids they were having one group they were doing the discussion and right now they are in names in delhi then also there is one group of those people so bonding is necessary now kids oh no need of break oh my god thank you thank you now kids you can see one thing very clearly between you and me the bond is becoming stronger and between you people also bond is becoming stronger this is the way we are going to grow and we are going to get marks this is healthy bonding kids healthy bonding so in the in the in the beginning only i have told you we have to pay proper attention don't leave in between the session if you are doing that you won't be able to get the knowledge kids that's why i have asked you see kids some people some uh, not more people it's only 3 4 5 they have left the session in 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 between right so they are not going to get that great help now see kids fifth application fifth application is hoffman's alkylation hoffman's methylation hoffman's hoffman's methylation whenever whenever i am saying something you have to repeat it wherever you are seated don't be shy don't think what others are thinking everyone repeat hoffman's methylation hoffman's methylation or alkylation why i am saying why i am talking like this you have to repeat it you know kids when you were very very small in kg your teacher was telling you twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are hey kids repeat you note it down mark my words right now if somebody is asking you can definitely without any revision you can tell this poem this poem you can straight away baba black sheep for twinkle twinkle little star everyone knows why because you have followed your teacher what your teacher was telling you at that time you are following it so same you are supposed to do it here thank you kaira thank you now see hoffman's methylation should i tell you this hoffman's methylation directly or should i tell you one story there was a jungle in the jungle nitrogen was there nitrogen was crying hey god just complete my octet at that time hydrogen came over there hydrogen was having one electron one electron one electron so other hydrogen also said hey form a bond with me but nitrogen ignored nitrogen said no 
I just need three hydrogens. More than three hydrogens, I'm not going to react. I'm not going to form a bond. Why nitrogen was starting like this? See kids, while forming bond, this bond, this bond, this bond, nitrogen is having how many electrons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nitrogen's octet complete, hydrogen's duplet complete. Now, one lone pair has been left and this is known as ammonia. Now, when its nitrogen's octet got completed, ammonia was very happy. Nitrogen was very happy that my octet got completed. Just like you people, sometimes you feel very happy. But other time, when you see someone else more happier, then you will not be that happy. See, suppose out of 720 marks, somebody got 710. Out of, in the neat examination, if out of 720, somebody has got 710. But later on, if that student is going to know, come to know that somebody has got 720, then that 710 marks one is not that happy. If 710 is the highest mark and that kid is going to see, oh, everyone has got less than 700 and a half, got 710 marks, then that student will be more happier. Am I right or not? Am I right or not, right? So, once this ammonia has seen water, water said, hey ammonia, you are not visible, you are invisible, no one can see you. So, ammonia said, how to become visible? Water said, hey, increase your weight. Then ammonia said, how to increase my weight? Water said, just go to the town of Rx. Just go to the town of Rx. This X is forming a bond. BMO bonding molecular orbital bond and there is ABMO and this nitrogen's lone pair will attack on the ABMO and the reaction is going to take place. See kids, SN2 reaction will take place. So directly I am going to write down this reaction so that without wasting your time you can see. Now see how the reaction is going to take place. Shortcut, I am going to tell you the shortcut. Nitrogen, one hydrogen rest of hydrogens over here and Rx, Rx, you can see very clearly where the reaction is going to take place. This proton will eliminate out, this X will eliminate out and they will form a bond like this, H plus and X negative. So this will get negative charge and this will get positive charge and in this way you are going to get RnH2. Now, it has got one degree, just like you people, right now you are without degree, once you are going to get MBBS degree, you will say, oh, I am MBBS, later on that everyone should be there MBBS, you will say, oh my God, we have to do MS, second degree. Now, this was ammonia, this can exist as gas or this can exist as liquid, it depends on temperature and that's why everyone says, that never open the bottle of ammonia when the temperature is high otherwise it will go inside our body and it is fatal that's why always better to open the bottle of ammonia when it is cold that's why it, it is that time liquid otherwise it is being gaseous now it is one degree it is saying oh i'm now liquid everyone can see me it was really very happy but once it's collided with the stone stone said oh you got hurt. This said, oh, who are you? Stone said, I am being solid. You are being liquid. Once again, it started crying, oh, I am being liquid and you are solid. How to become solid? Stone said, hey, increase your weight. How to increase my weight? Hey, you don't know. Why removing one hydrogen, you got one degree. You were having three hydrogens in the starting. You can get three degrees. Just eliminate out your hydrogens and increase your degrees. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Started shouting, thank you, thank you. Once again, it has gone to the town of Rx to increase the degree. Hey Rx, please increase my degree. Take this hydrogen and just remove like Rx. And now it is known as two degree. 
टू डिग्री आई मीन टू डिग्री आई मीन बट देन ऑल्सो इट इज नॉट बींग सॉलिड वंस अगेन द एसेंट टू रिएक्शन हैज टेकन प्लेस over here it took place over there it took place two times sn2 reaction has taken place now see kids it is going to eat three hydrogen see it is just like a fun chemistry is not tough it's really easy if you are able to understand and if you are along with hsp baba definitely no obstacle is there you will be able to understand now see kids just to let me know once more sn2 reaction will take place or not kids everyone your hsp baba is asking once more SN2 reaction will take place or not? Kids, do let me know. Once again, SN2 reaction is going to take place or not? Answer is yes, 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 yes. Now, see, this two degree amine, this two degree amine, N H R R, once again will go. in the town of rx and we'll say yeah rx just form a bond form a bond proton and x negative will get eliminated out proton this negative and they will form a bond this will get 3 degree now nitrogen r r r it has got 3 degree 3 degree once again s into reaction took place now kids its degree has been 3 degree i mean but still it is being liquid still it is being liquid it said oh my god how to become solid stone said once again once again go to the town of rx now it has said that what rx is going to do now i am not having any proton without any proton without any proton no proton so what do you think it's the reaction will take place reaction will take place yes stone said that what you were thinking that rx is interested in your proton proton is a human being forget about proton rx was interested in your money rx was interested in your money now kids now this is a world things are not that much important according to some people money is more important money has taken the place of human beings now this r positive is not interested in proton it has shown interest in the electron and it said i will react i will react and it has shown the reaction and nitrogen has lost the lone pair and in its life four r are present 4r just like ammonium halide it is 4r and 4r and x is outside the gate outside the home and this is known as quaternary ammonium salt quaternary ammonium salt and ultimately in the journey of reactions from the gas from the atom to gas gas to liquid liquid to solid once again sn2 reaction took place now kids how the question will be asked how the question will be asked see kids question will be asked like this if they have given you ammonia and they have given you methyl chloride excess methyl chloride in excess what do you think what should be a product just do let me know i am writing down the product you just do let me know this is your product or not and ch3 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 x negative that is cl negative positive cl negative tetramethyl ammonium chloride tetramethyl ammonium chloride quaternary ammonium salt quaternary ammonium salt tetramethyl ammonium chloride 
Are you getting my point? Tetra. Methyl ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride. Are you getting my point, kids? How many times SN2 reaction? You know very well that how many times SN2 reaction has taken place. Sir, you just letting me to be in a lab. Great teaching. Oh my God. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you, Ajay. Now see kids, next application, what should be the number of next application? Next application, sixth application, are you ready kids? I hope that you are not tired. Sixth application is simple and awesome. Sixth application. Before telling you sixth application, let me write it down. Sixth application is Rx plus LIALH4. Have you heard this name? LIALH4 and product you are going to get RH hydrocarbon. RH that hydrocarbon. Have you heard the name of LIALH4? Everyone do let me know. Have you ever heard the name of LIALH4? This LiLH4 is known as lithium aluminum hydride. Lithium aluminum hydride. And kids, this lithium aluminum hydride holds a hell lot of weightage in organic chemistry, reducing agent, strong reducing agent. Yes, yes, strong reducing agent, kids strong reducing agent it is explosive and expensive double e explosive and expensive so I will let you know why it is being explosive, why it is being expensive towards water and number of other things. But right now, how this reaction has taken place, that is very, very important, kids. Kids, hit the like buttons, make it 110. Now it is 106. Let me check it out. Are you awake or you're sleeping? Just to make a check that are you awake or you're sleeping, just to let me know. Make Hit the like buttons. Right now it is 106. Let me see whether it is increasing or not. Hey everyone. Oh, you are sleeping that means. It is still 106 only. It is still 106 only. Oh, 107. One kid is awake. One, others really you must have smashed the like buttons. 108, yeah, that's yeah 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 you are super duper with energy that's really fantastic now see kids how the reaction would have taken place see in one town there was lithium and hydrogen has seen him lithium has seen hydrogen and hydrogen has seen lithium lithium said oh hydrogen who are you now kids do let me know hydrogen belongs to the family of lithium or not lithium has seen hey hydrogen so they are family members or not do let me know is lithium and hydrogen being family member or not do let me know kids everyone do let me know what do you think is lithium and hydrogen being family member or not everyone do let me know are they family members or not same group same group yes little bit this ajay is writing something good partly arthan is writing very good it's I have told you that guitar song and their hydrogen I have encircled. Hydrogen I have encircled. Lithium is definitely, lithium is alkali. But hydrogen 
has dual nature dual nature dual nature sometimes it belongs to alkali and sometimes it belongs to halogen so right now when hydrogen has seen lithium it started behaving as halogen and hydrogen said hey lithium what do you want what do you want lithium said i belongs to alkali metals and my all family members they are in kerosene but they have wrapped me with paraffin bags because i have got the jumping potential i starts jumping and that's why they have just wrapped me in the paraffin and then kept inside the kerosene i am the best reducing agent in this world i am the best i am the best reducing agent best reducing agent means what best reducing agent means what best electron donor best electron donor hydrogen said oh my god even i am an electron donor you are saying you are best electron donor i am also electron donor lithium said hey just shut your mouth in front of me don't talk like this you can't donate electron i am a donor you have to accept so they have formed a bond that lithium has donated and hydrogen has gained kids that's why you must have studied in redox when hydrogen is along with halogens if hydrogen is along with halogens then hydrogen is donor and halogens are acceptor but with metals with metals hydrogen is being acceptor so hydrogen has got two types of oxidation state the negative as well as positive this you must have studied kids do let me know show me the thumbs up this thing you have studied or not you must have studied now see kids hydrogen has taken electron now one day what happened they saw aluminium hydride they saw aluminium hydride aluminium is having one two three electrons and aluminium has formed with hydrogen bond with hydrogen now kids by forming bond hydrogen's duplet got completed but aluminium is having how many electrons aluminium is having just six electrons only six electron so aluminium is electron deficient alh3 is electron deficient so when hydride has seen aluminium hydride said oh aluminium what do you want aluminium said hey hydride i want electron i want money electron is like money hydrogen said oh you want money it's like somebody is saying hey i have seen your daughter i want money you just keep your daughter with yourself i am going to marry with your daughter and just give me the dowry as money is anyone going to do like that do let me know is anyone is going to do like that daughter you keep at your home and give me the money of the dowry so hydrogen said what are you talking about you don't have any sense if you want money you have to accept me so aluminium's mama said you are too small aluminium belongs to boron aluminium like that and the size is small so aluminium mama said don't keep more than 3 don't keep its idris welcome welcome aluminium mama said don't keep more than 3 what valency otherwise i will beat you so just to take money it has opted hydride and now it's looking like this its condition is like this see kids aluminium has accepted the hydride and after accepting hydride after accepting hydride aluminium got negative charge he has got money but can't handle this extra electron so aluminium is saying oh baba one hydrogen just go away from my life and lithium is there so its bond is like this al al li al h3 this is complex a li al h4 this is a complex compound kids you don't know actually this is a complex compound it has iupac name in the coordination chemistry see 
let me tell you it has got IUPSC name in the coordination chemistry LIE positive ALH4 negative and it's known as lithium tetrahydro tetrahydro aluminate aluminate what is the oxidation state of aluminium see oxidation state of aluminium 1 plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 so x is equal to how much x is equal to 3 aluminate 3 and this is this can't accommodate this extra hydride so this is best hydride donor best hydride donor LiLH4 is best hydride donor best hydride that is H negative donor so what has happened over there the reaction was like this suppose if somebody has given you a question like this C2H5 Cl so Cl is delta negative this is being delta positive and if you are going to react it with LiAlH4 this is best hydride donor this will give you one hydride over here H negative at this place so what compound you are going to get C2H5 and one hydrogen from the hydride so C2H6 is the answer gets everyone is able to understand do let me know that everyone got it ethane oh my god Akankhya Singh has written before so early that's really awesome Re really awesome kids now the most important reaction I'm going to tell you kids just have water whatever the fruit you want to take you can eat the very very important reaction that cleavage of ether that holds a whole lot of weightage and that is really very very important for your neat examination that one is a test I'm going to tell you and second cleavage of ether only this much is for today but these two really holds a hell lot of weightage so kids do let me know sir you looks to me like as my father so whatever you told me I can do sir oh my god Buddha Surya kids wow really appreciating words really awesome words kids really I'm like your father only kids I'm your second parent. I'm your mentor. I'm very transparent for my kids. And you are really super duper important kids. I'm not, never I teach for views, never I do any publicity, nothing I used to do kids. I'm just teaching pure teaching that I'm a pure teacher and our team is a pure teacher. This conquer batch is a pure, pure, really pure pure from the soul kids now kids the next application that's really very very important i'm going to tell you the seventh application and seventh application is really very very important kids that is lucas test lucas test are you ready for the seventh application kids Lucas test. Lucas. Everyone say Lucas. Lucas test. Lucas test. Now question arises. What is a Lucas reagent? So Lucas reagent is. Lucas reagent is. An equimolar. An equimolar. Solution of concentrated HCl plus anhydrous JNCl2. This is also one question. Just a second, kids. Just a second. Hello. Last year, what did you say? कोई नहीं बता दीजिए। नहीं, short, short कर दिया। 
See kids, I am teaching for the last two and a half hour. No phone call ring, isn't it? See how much dedicated I am towards your teaching. The phone was not on silent, but you have seen no call was there from anyone's side because I have told each and everyone when I am teaching, I am my time, each and everything for my students. That time is not, not for anyone else. No one can disturb me. See kids, this is an academy platform. You are seeing that it's just like your, what to say, paid class, more than, better than play paid class. Better to say, isn't it? Isn't it? That teacher is teaching you with full dedication and not even a single step he is missing or she is missing. And this is the teamwork. Whether I talk about Ambika ma'am, so dedicated. If I talk about Basim sir, so dedicated. Shreyas Kapto sir, so dedicated. And the other team members, those who are just behind the camera. Everyone is really dedicated and everyone wants to see that you are going to get selected in government college. Now see kids. This is your... Lucas reagent, Lucas reagent kids, right? Have you, anyone is going to ask what is Lucas reagent? You have to say like that. Now, the question arises, what experiment you will see in the lab and what is the reason behind it? So, first, I am going to tell you the experiment which when I was student and what my ma'am has shown me in the lab. So, everyone ready? Let's go to the lab. Hey everyone, we are going to the lab, chemistry lab. So, chemistry lab, everyone, everyone, let's be in the chemistry lab. So, my ma'am told me, hey everyone, take one flask. Okay ma'am, we have taken the flask. We have taken the flask. Now, ma'am said, I'm giving you one liquid. I'm going to give you one liquid. Okay, ma'am. We have added liquid to this flask. Ma'am said, you know, kids, this liquid is being alcohol. Oh, my God, ma'am. It's being alcohol. Yes, kids. Now, ma'am said, take one paper. Take one paper and write down name. Oh, ma'am, what are you talking about? Whose name should I write? Ma'am said, anyone's name, anyone's name. So, I written over there, Ram. Ram. Now, ma'am said, just see with your eye, just see with your eye, whether this name is visible. I have seen from upper side and Ram was visible. I can clearly see because the solution was transparent. Now, ma'am said, add Lucas region to this. Add Lucas region to this. And I followed her rules, ma'am's rules. Lucas region I have added. Now, ma'am said, just tire the solution. I have started shaking it, little bit shaking. And then what I saw, the name was invisible. Just within fraction of seconds, within fraction of seconds, name was invisible. Within, within fraction of seconds, name was not visible. Name was not visible. Now, kids, what I got what information I was able to understand, that solution has changed. What I was able to understand, the result I saw, solution which was transparent, from transparent, it has got changed to translucent. Translucent and this in chemistry language is known as turbid solution, turbid. Turbidity appears. Turbidity was there. That's why I was not able to see the name. Now, kids, 
this is the experiment which we have done in this school. Now, behind this experiment, what chemistry lies? The same experiment. Now, what man said, it's you are able to see turbidity immediately, that name is not visible to you within fraction of second, that indicates this is being tertiary alcohol. Yeah, this is distinguishing test. We will use one word, not the difference, there's particular word, we will use distinguishing test, that I will take, this name I will let you know, kids. So, man said, because the turbidity appeared immediately, that means this alcohol has been tertiary. I asked one question, ma'am, how is it possible that is tertiary? How can we explain it? It can be secondary, it might be secondary, it can be primary. How we are going to say that it has to have that tertiary alcohol is there? Ma'am said, now I will explain the chemistry, then you will come to know. Now, ma'am explained. Now, let me tell you, the result shows that this is being tertiary alcohol. Now, ma'am said, If you are having alcohol, if alcohol and alcohol is provided and if you are going to react it with and if you are going to react it with Lucas reagent, if you are going to react it with Lucas reagent, then three possibilities are there. Then three possibilities are there. What are those with Lucas reagent? If turbidity appears immediately, then 3 degree alcohol. If turbidity appears after 5 minutes, then secondary alcohol. And this though we have never done in school. If turbidity with Lucas reagent, with Lucas reagent, all these are happening at room temperature. Kids do remember these all things are taking place at room temperature. No need to heat it. All these things are happening at room temperature. That is the point to be noted, my lord. Room temperature. Each and everything is happening at room temperature. Lucas reagent. If turbidity appears after very long period of time means after the class gets over so ma'am was not ma'am has never given primary alcohol because primary alcohol will take too much time two hours one hours class will get over so ma'am has never given if turbidity appears after a very long period of time after a very long period of time that indicates it is being primary alcohol, primary alcohol. Now, kids, this is the result which ma'am told us. But what's the reason behind it? That we have to understand. See, kids, how the reaction is going to proceed. See, kids, this is ROH, R carbon OH. You see who is the leaving group? This OH is the leaving group. You see this is being 2P and this is being 2P. The bond of equality is very, very strong. Kids, the bond of equality, 2P, 2P of equal size. So the bond of equality, the bond of equality is very, very strong bond. So, I will particularly say this bond is strong and OH is not a leaving group or very, very poor leaving group, not a leaving group, not, not a leaving group, not a leaving group. Kids. 
Have you heard this story of Ramayana? In Ramayana, there was Angat. One was Hanuman. One was Angat. Have you heard the name of Angat? I don't know Sugriva or Bali's son, but Angat was there. And once Angat has gone to Sri Lanka and he kept his leg over there and he has given the challenge that is there anyone who is going to lift my leg? No one was there. Ramayana was in the Ramayana and Ravan was about to come. He said, hey Ravan, what are you going to do? You are Ravan, you are going to touch my feet. So, other than Ravan, even Ravan, Ravan, he has not allowed Ravan to touch his feet. So, no one was there to lift his feet. If you know Angad. Now, kids, if I were there, I must have taken one, um, what to say, one pin. And I am not going to lift his leg. I must have pinched that pin. He must, he might have, he is going to remove his leg from there. So, kids, now see kids, this is not a good leaving group. Even we can see it like this. See, kids, just remove out OH negative and add H plus to it. If you are not able to understand, it will become water. And water is very, very weak acid. And you know that weak acids form stronger conjugate base. Weaker acids form stronger conjugate base. So, this is not going to a leaving group. Now, if you react it with ZnCl2, what is going to happen? See, kids, if you are going to react it with ZnCl2, ZnCl2 is Lewis acid. Lewis acid. And Lewis acid means electrophile. Electrophile. Electron seeking. Electrophile. Electro means, electron pile means to love. It will attack on the lone pair of this OH. It is going to attack on the lone pair of OH. And ZnCl2 will attack over there. Now, it's just like see kids, this carbon is seat and this is somebody sitting over there and you are present over there and you are saying, hey, this is my reserved seat. I've got a reservation and OH is saying, oh, I'm not going to leave your seat. Then what you are supposed to do? You will call TT or someone else. You will hire some agent. So, OH was not going to leave. Now, you will say, who is going to take place of OH? See, we are going to place Cl negative. Cl negative want to displace this OH. How is it possible? This CS, Cl belongs to 3P. This is weaker base. This is being a stronger base. It is not possible that weaker, somebody is weaker, can displace the stronger. It's not possible. So, this is being a stronger base. That is being weaker base. So, weaker cannot remove the stronger one. So, he has hired one agent. He is saying, hey, go and do something for me. So, see what is going to happen. So, it is like this. O has lost its electron and had got positive charge. Now, oxygen saying, oh, I have to lost my electron. What should I do? Oxygen has got positive charge. Oxygen started crying. I can't tolerate this positive charge. I can't. I can't. So, oxygen is saying, hey, carbon, I'm going to withdraw your electron. Carbon is saying, hey, hey, friend, what has happened to you? What's wrong with you? You are my true friend. You are doing this. OH is saying, I was not like this, bro. I was very true friend of you. But ZnCl2 has attacked on my lone pair. He has taken my electron money. What should I do? I cannot snatch electron money from ZnCl2. So, I have to do this. I am helpless, bro. I am helpless. Now, this will eliminate out as, this will eliminate out as RC positive and Zn. Cl2OH. Now carbocation is formed. Gets carbocation. You know very well. Once the carbocation is formed, think about, think about. I must have told you. Once you see the carbocation, think about, think about what? Think about two things. Think about two things. 
two things should move in your brain whenever you see when I saw carbocation two things started mind blowing my mind everyone say when I saw carbocation two things started blowing in my mind when I saw when I saw carbocation when I saw carbocation, two things started blowing in my mind. Two things. What are those two things started? Two things started blowing in my mind. Kids, do let me know what are these two things. When I saw carbocation, two things started blowing in my mind. Yeah, yeah, Buddha Surya, sure, sure, sure. When I saw carbocation, two things started blowing in my mind. What are these two things? Could you please help me look? Everyone, I'm asking. Kili. Valva and Valvan, Kili Valvan. So, two things are, could you please, anyone, anyone, can you please help me? What are those two things? When I saw carbocation, two things started blowing in my mind. One is, think about rearrangement. Think about rearrangement. Think about rearrangement. Rearrangement. You know, Suppose you are going to, suppose you are going for a picnic, suppose you are going for a picnic and the car or the bus, the bus is just has taken one stop to have lunch. Now everyone is saying I will change my seat, I will do this. So will you change your seat or not? Do let me know. Are you going, going to change your seat? Everyone is saying we are free to change our seat, we can shift. Are you, going, are you going to change your seat? Suppose you are going for a picnic, some tour is there and long journey is there and bus people have started saying you are free. So it depends, it depends. You will think about changing your seat. If you are getting benefited, then you are going to change your seat. If you are not going to get benefited, you will not change your seat. Am I right or not? So think about rearrangement. I am not saying that you will do rearrangement. If Better carbocation is formed, then you will do that. And think about Rahis. Think about Rahis. Rahis. What is this Rahis, kids? Whenever you are talking about stability of carbocation, resonance, hyperconjugation, induct effect, S character, don't mess it up. Always think about Baba Rahis, resonance. Because you will forget about, you will not be able to remember back bonding, Baba Rahis. Think about rearrangement and think about stability. Think about stability. Think about stability. If you are able to remember this thing, you will never get negative marks. One is think about rearrangement and think about stability. It's, if you are able to understand these two things, you will never get negative marks and you will always get full marks. Art Baba, Baba for back bonding. Baba, Baba, black ship. No, no, no. Baba for back bonding. Baba or BB. BB, you know, I can't forget my BB. If I am going to ignore my BB, my BB will start beating me. And if you are going to forget your BB, your BB is back bonding. Your subject, your BB is back bonding, my BB is BB. So no one can ignore the BB, whether the student or whether the elder people. BB can't be ignored. BB has meaning of back bonding and BB means BB. Now, back bonding. If you are going to ignore back bonding, you will get negative marks. Resonance. Hyperconjugation, you know very well hyperconjugation and inductive effect. 
So everyone say, when I saw carbocate and two things started blowing in my mind. Think about rearrangement, think about stability. Everyone think about stability. Baba Rahis, Baba Rahis, Baba Rahis. Now see kids. So, so this thing is given in your NCRT that tertiary butyl alcohol, tertiary butyl alcohol kits. Secondary alcohol, isopropyl, this is being tertiary butyl alcohol. This is being isopropyl alcohol. And this is being ethyl alcohol. Now, this is being 3 degree alcohol. Just try to understand kids. 3 degree, this is being 2 degree, and this is being 1 degree. Who is being most basic? If you say this alkyl is donating electron, this alkyl is donating this, and so all together, its electron density is maximum. Over here, the electron density is maximum. Am I right or not? Electron density is maximum. And here the electron density is minimum. Only one alkyl is donating. Minimum electron density. So this is most basic. Most basic kits. And this is being least basic. Am I right? Now, to whom they are going to react? They are going to react with HCl. HCl is being acid. HCl is being acid, isn't it? So, basically, this reaction is being acid based neutralization. Basically, this reaction is with acid based neutralization kits. Am I right? In presence of ZnCl2. Now, kids, one more thing is there. Let me tell you one more thing is there. This tertiary butyl alcohol can react with HCl even without ZnCl2. So, either you add ZnCl2 or you are not going to add ZnCl2, doesn't matter. This can react even without ZnCl2. This is a very, very special thing about tertiary butyl alcohol that it can show reaction simply with HCl also taking with HCl because that is tertiary butyl alcohol highly reactive. Now, they will form carbocation. Its carbocation will be like this. Its carbocation will be like this. And its carbocation will be like this. Now, which carbocation is being most stable kits? This carbocation is not having any resonance. Sir, if it is not having resonance, then why you are talking about resonance? So, kids, resonance is like God. Whenever you are having any function at your home, then who is going to get the first bite? We know that very well. Everyone knows that God is not going to eat. But the first bite we always give to God. First bite is for God. Wow, Lave Azan, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lave Azan. Kids, really, really, everyone is liking my teaching. That's really thanks. I'm really thanks to each and everyone, kids. Thank you. Now, see, no resonance because we, wherever we are going to think about stability, always Baba Rahis, no back bonding, no resonance, hyperconjugation. So, it is stabilized by hyperconjugation. It is having nine alpha hydrogen atoms. Now, it is stabilized by inductive effect, SBI, not State Bank of India. It is stabilized by inductive effect, 3 degree. Now, this is stabilized by hyperconjugation. It is just having 6 alpha hydrogen atoms and is stabilized by inductive effect that it is having 2 degree carbocation, 2 degree. And it is stabilized by hyperconjugation, just having 3 alpha hydrogen atoms and is stabilized by inductive effect that is just 1 degree. Kids, could you please help me? Which carbocation is most stable? So, the first carbocation is most stable. 
and this is the order for stability of carbocation carbocation stability so rate of reaction carbocation stability so the rate of reaction is directly proportional to stability of carbocation simply with that cl it can react simply with hcl this is really very very important so that this is the stability of carbocation and that's why this is the reactivity of alcohols with hcl this is being the reactivity that's why this is being the reactivity i hope that everyone is able to understand now how the question will come in your examination so three degree two degree one degree that's really fantastic shiva kumar sir see the likes sir it's awesome first time ever we have hit 117 likes within a short spam yeah really shiv kumar see everyone is like my or own how much effort shiv kumar is putting see how much this is just like a son a daughter our own kids everyone is liking too much this is this is the feeling kids and with that feeling only i'm teaching over here it's when I was teaching in offline, number of students of other batches, they were not able to attend my class. And they were just shouting that you are always going to teach toppers only. So it's when I was talking to management, management was helpless because that room was very, very small. Only 50 kids were able to sit over there. Now kids here, this unacademy channel platform, boundaryless no limits are there no boundaries are there anyone can study even no money is required kids anyone everyone i can reach to no no boundary is there now see kids this is like this how the question will be asked see kids question will be like this find out the major product And let me tell you one thing, let me tell you one thing. There is one batch, Avengers batch, that is paid batch. I asked the students, kids, in the starting, what you were thinking about me? Some students said, sir, we were feeling that you, you, you must be very rude. You must be uh, not talkative. You must be very strict. But really, sir, now not only we people are studying, a mother, my mother, my father, somebody said my uh, smaller brother, sister, they always used to sit along with them because they are liking, they are not, they, they, they are not going to qualify neat examination, but teaching is, they are liking the teaching, the way I am teaching over there. And the same method, because on huge demand of students, sir, yes, sir, teach in Conquer batch on YT, same as like Avengers batch. So I am going to change my style. I am not I am going to change my style. Whatever I am teaching over there. So like I am teaching over here. And there is one energized way. Difference is only one. That their punctuality is there. In the starting only I told you. That you have to maintain punctuality. The difference in the paid batch. And over here. Is there is only one thing. That you are getting to get mentorship over there same mentorship i'm talking over here that you have to be regular student if you are able to do that the same study you are going to get over here but if you're not maximum 90 percent students they are not able to maintain that discipline so there is one energized batch neat neat energized batch this neat energized batch today is the last date if any student who is not able to maintain the regularity or your relatives or your friends they are not able to maintain the regularity punctuality then better to join that is the best path the same team is over there the same team of avengers batch the same team of conquer batch the best team of india okay kids now let's so yeah 
Yeah, Avengers. Now see, Avengers are there. Avengers, do let me know whatever I I spoke over it right now. If these words are really true words or not. And right now, the way I am teaching is same in the Avengers batch or not. Kids, if you belong to Srinath is there, Avengers batch, do let me know. Started teaching like in the same way or not. Or whatever I am telling you right now, 100% true or not. These are the golden words or not. Kids, do let me know. Now, find out major product. Neopentyl alcohol, its name is Neopentyl alcohol. Now, this Neopentyl alcohol was treated with Leucas reagent. Now, I am going to give you the options. I will give you the options. Yeah, Madhavan is there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now see, first option, CH3, CH2, CH3, Cl, CH3. Second option is CH3, CH3. CH3, CH2OH, C option is CH3, C, Cl, CH3, CH2OH, and the D option is CH3, C, Cl, CH3, CH3. Even though you know answer, but maximum students are going to get failed over here. Yeah, Srinath, you are right. That's really awesome, Srinath. Vedha Janani is writing A. I have told you that even though you know the answer, even though you know the answer, but you will get failed. Now, let me check it out. How many students are going to get the correct answer? I am waiting for your answer, kids. I am waiting for your answer. Then I will let you know the flip. So, Vedha Janani and uh, Subhashri and Srinath claps for you. Within very less time, you have given the correct answer. That's really awesome. Now, see kids. This first one is correct answer. Because I have done the twist. See what twist the answer will come like this CH3 CH2 positive this carbocation this carbocation is unstable so we have to think about 1 2 methyl shift 1 2 methyl shift will take place now see if you don't know about the shifting you won't be able to give the correct answer CH3 C positive CH3 CH2, CH3. The twist or the flip was like this. I have written ethyl over here in place of that. That's why some of the students may get or they might be getting confused. So see kids, this is your answer and this one and the A option, they are really same. So first answer was given by Vedha Janani and really it's fantastic answer and rest of others are wrong. See why? This is having OH still layer wrong. This is having Cl, one carbon has gone and OH is still there wrong. And this is having less carbon, that's why it is wrong. One question more I am going to give you based on this C. Everyone see to it. After this, after Lucas reagent, only one will left. That is cleavage of ether and that holds a hell lot of weightage really. Now see, in this also find out the major product. The question is find out the major product.
and the fantastic thing about you is today you have not asked even for the break kits now see kids question is The options are A is B is C is D is so kids what's your answer what's your answer kids all the options are visible clearly are they visible clearly kids or they are getting overlapped Suresh Kumar, welcome, welcome. So, Bhartan, Santi Prabha, Lakshmi, C. So, yes, I got the answer and really congratulations. C is the correct answer, absolutely correct. So, it will attack the Lucas region, ZNCL2 will attack over here and you will get carboketyl like this, C6H5, CHCH3. CH2 plus and there will be one to hydride shift one to hydride shift from here to here and you will get carboketide like this C6H5 C positive CH3 and this will become CH2H and the chloride will attack on this carbon and you will get the C option everyone now last application but not the least this is the really just like williamson synthesis was very very important the last application is really going to be very very important but kids hit the like buttons at least from 120 to make 125 so i'm going to write down the last very very important application and this application's number is what what is the application's number kids Seventh, eighth application, eighth application, eighth application, kids, eighth application. See, wow, what a accuracy of pages also. Eighth application. This is the most important, and you have to pay attention. You have to pay attention in this application. You know. So, eighth application, very, very important application, eighth application. And this is all about cleavage of ether. Cleavage of ether, really very, very important cleavage of ether. Cleavage of ether. But let me tell you something about ether. You know, Ether is used as polar aprotic solvent and ether, if we talk about ether, ether is like this R and the leaving group is OR. And if you see OR, this is leaving group kids. And if you talk about leaving group, that OR negative is the leaving group and this is going to leave. You know that this carbon, if I draw the ether, ether should be like this O and carbon like this. This is only the ether. That means carbon is 2P, 2P is carbon and oxygen is also being 2P, 2P, 2P bond of equality is very, very strong bond. Once it is being very, very strong bond, so it's poor leaving group. 
or if you are not able to see the second approach you can see that OR negative add proton to it it will become conjugate acid ROH you know this is being alcohol and this is being very very poor acid and very very poor acids conjugate is being very very strong base this is being very very strong base and stronger bases are poor leaving groups so this is being very poor leaving group because stronger bases are stronger bases are very very poor leaving group even though if you are not able to understand this also then you go to SN2 reaction NH2 RO negative OH negative F those four stronger bases were very very poor leaving groups Shiv Kumar okay 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 now see everyone so ethers are the least reactive among functional groups this is the thing which i am going to tell you see kids that's why i'm telling you it is very very important ethers are the least reactive ethers are the least reactive among functional groups among functional groups and that's why kids you must have seen in woods reaction till now i haven't told you but i will let you know woods reaction dry ether is used as solvent williamson synthesis of ether Polar aprotic solvent, dry ether is used. So, they are used as solvent. Who is the solvent? Less reactive or least reactive? And that's why, and that's why, they are used as, solvent. Now, kids, you must be thinking in your brain, that sir, if they are not reactive, they are the least reactive, then what you are going to teach us? Why you take saying that it is the last one but not the least one, it is very, very important and this is like that. Kids, really, have faith on me. Then somebody is not reactive, then we are going to use strong acid. When you are going to have, use strong acid, that will become reactive. Now see kids, however, the word is in English, however. However, you must have seen in stories, there was one king, very, very strong king. He was not defeated by anyone. But however, once they are saying, but however, that means some, uh, something big, has, big is going to happen. <laughs> yeah, Srinath is saying, nice telepathy, yes. However, when the word comes, however, but strong mineral acids ether will react ether will show reaction now which acid hi is very very acidic then HBr. So, in your examination, either you will get HI or HBr, rarely HCl but never HF. So, these three acids, but NCRT has used only one. Which one? According to NCRT, they are using HI. You can see your NCRT, they have used HI. Kids, this is the last time going on. Remember, can't leave this class because this is the most important application and this really requires in-depth knowledge otherwise you won't be able to do the question it's really very very important now see kids only hardly i'm going to take 15 minutes. In 15 minutes, I will let you know each and everything. You can do all the questions from NCRT or whatever the book you are going to use. See, kids. 
Now, I am going to write one ether C O C and R over here, R over here, R can be anything, can be same or different. You can see this oxygen is having lone pair. It is saying I am nucleophile, I am nucleophile, I can do any reaction. Once again, let me write down, you can see very clearly, you must be thinking what is happening over here. You can simply see like that. If you don't want to see like that, you can simply see C O C. This oxygen is having load pair, that means it can behave as both the nucleophile as well as the base. Whenever there are two possibilities, always give preference acid base neutralization. Whenever there are two types of possibilities, always give preference to acid base neutralization. And this is saying that I am being acid, strong acid. So I am going to donate proton and that proton will attack where? This proton will attack on oxygen's lone pair. So here is your acid base neutralization which is going to start. ABN, ABN full form is acid base neutralization. Right kids? Now, you know that oxygen was saying, I will not leave, I will not leave. Then what has happened over here, you can see very clearly that oxygen has developed positive charge because somebody has thrown the acid and this oxygen has developed positive charge. And when oxygen is having positive charge, we will say oxonium ion. What we are going to say, this is being oxonium ion. Now kids, oxygen when develops positive charge, oxygen will say, oh, I have developed positive charge. I can't tolerate this positive charge. I can't tolerate this positive charge. Oxygen is saying, oxygen is saying, I can't tolerate positive charge. I can't tolerate positive charge. So, kids. This oxygen will say to this carbon, hey, just give me your electron, just give me your electron, you will develop positive charge. Just give me your electron, you will develop positive charge. Now kids, when somebody is going to beat you, what you will do? When somebody is just scolding you and beating you, what you are going to do? Either you will say, sorry sir, sorry sir, or you will start beating him or her. Just do let me know what you are going to do. If somebody is going to scold you and beat you, what you are going to do? Then there are two options. If you are having power, power of muscle power or brain power or some other powers, you will start beating them or you will say, sir, if you don't want to make any scene over there, even having power, then you will say, please forgive me and you go your way. I'm a student. I don't want to fight. My aim is to become doctor. I don't want to waste my energy over there. This is another way. So kids, there are two ways, either case number one or case number two. Either case number one or case number two. See kids, there are two ways which are going to arise, case number one or case number two. Just think case number one and case number two. But first of all, we have to think about case number one. Case number one, that is case number one is SN1. SN1, this is our first prime focus and case number 2, SN2. Now kids, always think for the case number 1, if from either side, left hand side or right hand side, if from either side, if from either side, just try to understand either side, that is right hand side or left hand side. Carbocation is, this is blurred, I don't think this is looking clearly. So let me go back and let me make case number 2 a little bit away so that everyone can be able to understand. Hey Baba, what is happening? So, case number 1 and case number 2 let me write down over here. This is case number one. First of all, we have to focus on case number one, that is SN1. I will tell you case number two later on because otherwise we won't be able to understand. Now see kids, 
What is case number one? Case number one is saying if carbocation, now I think everyone can see clearly carbocation formed from either side that is left hand side or right hand side is resonance stabilized is resonance stabilized this i taught you in stability of carbocation very well or it has at least eight alpha hydrogen atoms then you have to go for case number one SN1. What I uh, what I have written is it visible kits if carbocation formed from either side that is left hand side or right hand side is resonance stabilized or it has eight alpha kits. Everyone, are you able to understand? Everyone. Then we have to think and this we have to go for first, first approach. If not SN1, if not an SN1, then definitely SN2. If this is case number 2, this is case number 2. If not SN1, then definitely SN2, then SN2. So kids. This page is really very, very important. If you are not able to understand this page, definitely I am going to take examples, 5 to 10 examples I will take and definitely you will be able to understand. Let me tell you, if you are not able to understand from this page, I am going to take examples, definitely you will be able to understand. But this page is really very, very important page, very, very important page gets you can take screenshot of it and keep with yourself because this page is having stars 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 this page is having stars very very important page very very important page kids this page is really very very important very very important very important very very important so take the screenshot of this page then i will start giving the questions because this page is super important page then whenever you are going to deal with the questions you have to answer it and if you are able to understand over here then only you are going to give the answer have you taken the screenshot you just keep with yourself and now see kids i'm going to start with the questions see first question kids example number one example number one Tickets. Just try to understand everyone. CH3, 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 O, CH2, CH3. They can give you either the structure or they can write down the name. Name is ethyl, tertiary butyl. Ether. Plus HI. It's first I will go through the mechanism, then I will let you know the short trick. Baba HSP short trick also I will give you. Within fraction of seconds, you will get the answer. Kids, just think over it. This H plus will attack over here on the lone pair of oxygen acid based neutralization will take place and what you are going to get kids you will get ch3 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 o positive h ch2 ch3 now oxygen will ask hey carbon give me your electron he will ask to the right hand side carbon and oxygen will ask to the left hand side carbon hey give me your electron the one who is helped by the neighbors will say oh oxygen don't shout too much 
don't shout too much just keep your electron see kids if i talk about this carbocation it is just having three alpha hydrogen atoms it can't donate electron can't 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 donate electron now if i say about the left hand side how many alpha hydrogens it is having carbocation how many alpha hydrogens do let me know see kids is having nine alpha hydrogen atoms it will say oh just keep just keep so how the reaction is going to take place see kids it will donate electron and it will form carbocation it will form carbocation like this ch3 c positive ch3 ch3 and this will become alcohol this will be definitely alcohol oh ch2 CH3 and if you see from the starting the HI has reacted the H has gone to this now only I is being left and this I will attack on this carbocation from left hand side as well as right hand side and you will get tertiary butyl iodide so first the reaction was ABN and then the reaction is SN1 am I right or not kids am I right or not everyone wow great with hajanani now if you are able to understand this reaction i am going to give you hsp baba short trick hsp baba short trick see hsp baba short trick no need to write anything over there just chemistry is in the air what is the hsp power short trick slogan is no need to write chemistry is in the air chemistry is in the air no need to write nothing to be right nothing you are supposed to write down chemistry is in the air see kids chemistry is in the air see the same question i am going to deal with ch3 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 O CH2 CH3. You know that from the very beginning that whose carbocation is going to form, its carbocation is going to form, and this will get negative charge. So just react HI. I is having negative charge, H is having positive charge. So you can see very clearly who is going to be whom. This is going to react with this. And that is going to react with this. You can see the clear cut answer. No need to write down anything, just you have to put the tick mark over there in the examination hall that this is going to form tertiary butyl iodide. You can see very clearly, and that is going to form ethyl alcohol. Kids, just do let me know. Everyone, do let me know. But the journey is for 10 minutes more because number of questions, whatever the questions can be asked in your examination, I will deal with all those questions. It's 9.24. It's within 10 minutes. Each and everything will be over and I will complete each and everything. It's not over. It will complete. It will get completed. Kids, first of all, do let me know that are you able to understand or not? And 125, at least hit the like buttons. Make it 130, kids. Make it 130. I want to see that you are awake or not. Wow. Show me the thumbs up if you are able to understand. As I am going to give you the second option, second example, third example, third example, fourth example, each and everything will definitely get cleared, kids. Now see, everyone, example number two, oh, 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 sheets got completed, no problem, see, let me make one sheet, the best sheet, wait, day by day, I am becoming pro, kids, now see, Now see kids, example number two.
रेडी एवरी वन इज एवरी वन रेडी सी सी एच थ्री ओ सी एच टू सी सिक्स एच फाइव नो किट्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन सी सिक्स एच फाइव दिस इज बिंग फिनाइल कैन बी गिवन लाइक दिस फाइव or this can be given like ph or this can be given like this all they are being phenyl just remember all they are being phenyl so don't get confused in the examination that all of them are being phenyl now if they are going to react with hi do let me know this is sn1 reaction or not do let me know so then and there we can answer it in the air only is this sn1 reaction or not kids do let me know is this sn1 reaction or not just do let me know everyone is this sn1 reaction or not because we know that this carbocation is benzyl carbocation and this will get stabilized by resonance stabilized by resonance so definitely this is being abn acid based neutralization and after that this is going to be sn1 reaction and sn1 reaction i will be of whom i will be of this carbocation and this will be like this o negative positive negative and they will form a bond like this definitely they are going to form a bond like this this bonding will take place am i right no electron will be taken by this so i have to write like this different pen should be used oh great now this should be like this this is the bonding like this am i right or not everyone is able to understand kids do let me know yes you got it now the answer is benzyl iodide its name is benzyl kids this is benzyl this is phenyl see the difference this much is phenyl that much is benzyl this much is benzyl kids try to understand otherwise you will write down wrong name this much is what this much is benzyl benzyl and that is being iodide benzyl iodide plus methyl alcohol ch3 oh is the answer ch3 oh everyone is able to understand just try to focus on phenyl this is being phenyl and this is being benzyl once ch2 is there being benzyl now let's see the third example example number 3 everyone see to it example number 3 i am not going to write down the structure this time example number 3 i will write allyl allyl vinyl ether now kids how much intelligent you are doesn't matter if you don't know the structure of allyl vinyl ether if you can't write the structure of allyl vinyl ether you won't be able to give the answer so what is being allyl allyl is this much get ch2 double bond ch ch2 this much is being allyl and this is being your oxygen and what is being vinyl this one is being vinyl ch double bond ch2 now you know very well i am number of times told you that this carbocation will get resonance stabilized this carbocation is stabilized by resonance why this is being sp3 hybridized carbon and adjacent to it there is being polyphenic bond and this is directly sp2 hybridized unstable so definitely this carbocation so reaction you know very well first acid based neutralization and then sn1 reaction am i right kids now sn1 this carbocation will be like this and oxygen should be like this so what's the answer you are going to get definitely the answer is being allyl iodide just to let me know this is the right answer or wrong answer i am going to write allyl iodide and vinyl alcohol vinyl alcohol kids do let me know this is the answer these two are being the answer right or wrong right or wrong kids do let me know right or wrong yeah vidhajanani very active participant fantastic fantastic now let me give you one example example number 4 sn2 reaction see sn2 reactions example let's see example number 4 kids example number 4 these are the questions of exam let me tell you very clearly 
each and every question will come from this only whatever the examples i'm writing over here each and every question will come from here only these examples what are the examples i'm writing same questions will directly come in your examination this is really i'm telling you now see kids example number four if the question is given like this ch3 o ch ch3 ch3 this is mind-blowing question hi do let me know first acid based neutralization will take place now sn1 or sn2 that's my question first acid based neutralization definitely afterward now this is a real question let's see who is going to give the answer sn1 or sn2 that's the question that's a question sn1 or sn2 kids do let me know this now you have to apply your brain and hit the like button it's only 127 at least make it 130 kids what are you doing just smash the like buttons make it 130 at least are you awake or are you sleeping this is the attendance attendance of sleeping or awake now see kids if i say this carbocation if this is going to form carbocation no alpha hydrogen no resonance no resonance no alpha hydrogen atoms so can't form carbocation right can't form carbocation now if i talk about right hand side carbon this is not having resonance no resonance so how many alpha hydrogen just six only six alpha hydrogen atoms and what i have told you kids at least how many alpha hydrogen atoms should be there to form carbocation yeah you can do only i i know that that <laughs> yeah yeah srinath yes i can understand madhavan madhu your answer is absolutely correct now see kids can't form carbocation can't form carbocation kids can't form carbocation right now kids definitely that means this has to place take place sn2 reaction it has to take place sn2 and sn2 reaction nucleophile i negative is being nucleophile nucleophile will attack on least sterically hindered alkyl or more sterically hindered just do let me know in sn2 reaction nucleophile iodide is being example of nucleophile nucleophile will attack on more sterically hindered or less sterically hindered and better to say in sn2 reaction i negative will attack on a smallu will attack on a smallu let me give one character will attack on smallu who is smallu who is being smallu this is the character i have given because otherwise you will forget you should not forget it that's why I've added one character. Yeah, Shiv Kumar, yes, you have given the correct answer. I, I have, a number of kids are there. I was unable to understand. So, yes, Shiv Kumar, your answer was correct. Now, Smalu is least sterically hindered. Least sterically hindered. Who is Smalu? Who is being a Smalu? Least sterically hindered alkyl. Least sterically hindered. Alkyl. Now, least sterically hindered. Who is this? Is least sterically hindered. So, least sterically hindered. Am I right, kids? So, I will be of this and H will be of that. So, definitely, what the answer you are going to get, let me write down on next page. Otherwise, too much congested it will become. So this was your question CH3 O CH CH3 CH3. So it is SN2 reaction and definitely I will attack on least sterically ended and there will be H. So this will be I negative. So this will be positive and this will be negative and this is positive. So how the reaction is going to take place the CH3 I and rest of that so this is being ch3 i plus o h ch ch3 ch3 so this is the answer now kids one question must be arising in your brain that if on both sides the carbocation is being stable 
Yeah. If both side, if the carbocation is being stable, then how the reaction will take place? This question must be coming to your brain, isn't it, kids? Isn't it? This question must be coming to your brain. Now see. See everyone. If the question is given like this, C C C six H five. CH3 oxygen now C CH3 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 this reaction suppose tough question they have given both the carbocations are means more stable now see kids if I talk about this is having nine alpha hydrogen atoms right But this carbocation you can see is having dancing resonance. Which one is more stable? Definitely dancing resonance one is more stable. More stable, more formed. More stable, more formed. I have told you or not. More responsible for product. More responsible for product that means major product this is going to form so i will be it's it is going to attack over here and h will come to this oxygen so what should be the answer answer should be tertiary butyl alcohol and carbon iodide phenyl dancing resonance one and methyl agreed or not agreed or not but this is not completed let me tell you Another example, this was example number kids, example number 4, example number 5, let me write down example number 5. Now kids, example number 6 you trick as question, you can treat at question example number 6 and you have to answer it, example number 6. So, question is given like this. What do you think? SN1 or SN2? Now, the ball is in your court. Kids, ball is in your court. SN1 or SN2? I am asking question SN1 or SN2. Ball is in your court. Try to give the answer. Kids, really hats off to you without any break, without any break and regularly, continuously, it's going to be 4 hours, near about, approximately, just in 20 minutes. No, I'm not, it's, it will get completed till that time. But yeah, it's going to be 4 hours. You have not taken even a single break. That's really fantastic. Tell me the answer. I'm waiting for your answer, kids. SN1. Wow, Shiva Kumar. Fantastic. Claps. Claps. Srinath claps. SN1. ABN. SN1. Because it was really tough question that the person who is able to understand this carbocation is aromatic see aromatic it is following planarity rule it is following huckel's rule 2 pi electrons so this is being aromatic and this is really very very important thing if you are able to understand this thing then only you can do this question otherwise you will miss this question and your answer will get wrong so i negative will be its and h positive will be its so and the answer will be like this Now kids, only cleavage of ethers 30 percent is left, 70 percent we have completed. Yeah, Srinath, Shiv Kumar, really, really awesome, Jyoti, really awesome, mm -hmm. Jyoti, least hindered, no, it's aromatic. Now see kids, 
example number 7 but giving example number 7 there is one note there is one note kids there is one note if if hot and concentrated if hot and concentrated hi is used what i am saying if hot and concentrated hi is used kids do remember if hot and concentrated hi is used then then the alcohol formed during the reaction formed during the reaction will again react with excess of HI through acid based neutralization. ABN. ABN stands for acid based neutralization. This is very very important note and we have to understand this is going to play the best important things. That's why now I'm going to give you oh my god once again page got completed. No problem. Let me draw another one. That's fantastic one. This time I'm going to use some different boundary. It's orange, Hanumanji's favorite color. This time I have used Hanumanji's favorite, right? Hanumanji's favorite. So, now only few minutes work is left. Now see kids, example number, what I was telling you, example number. Example number. Yes, example number kids do let me know example number which example now which example Nikhil what's doubt Nikhil what's your doubt write down I will see to it and answer it Nikhil don't worry I will answer it example number I think it's seven or eight example number Example number seven or eight, whatever. Now see kids, if I'm using CH3, O, CH, CH3, CH3, plus once I'm using HI cold, HI cold, once if I'm using HI, simply HI is given, and third time if it is given, see, HI cold is given, simply HI is given, it's okay. But if HI hot and concentrated is given, then what is going to happen? Let me see what question. Yeah, Modi ji's favorite color too. Is this Srinath? Is this Shimon Joseph? So where is Nikhil? Nikhil, what's your doubt? Nikhil, bro, ask your doubt. Now see kids. HI cold or HI is given same thing. HI cold or HI is given same thing is going to happen. And that you can see SN2, acid based neutralization. And after acid based neutralization, this is going to show SN2. And in SN2, I will attack on Chotu. So your answer will be methyl iodide and ethyl alcohol, right? Now kids, if HI hot and concentrated has been used, once you will get methyl iodide, it's okay. Same thing, methyl iodide means acid based neutralization will take place, then SN2 will take place like that and ethyl alcohol. But you know that this HI is hot and concentrated because it is in excess. So HI is more over there than HI once again is going to react with this alcohol and this alcohol will get consumed and due to acid based neutralization 
this alcohol will convert into C2H5 iodide. So the final answer in this will be methyl iodide and ethyl iodide. This is the final answer means no alcohol will be there. In this reaction, no alcohol will get obtained. No alcohol will get obtained. Kids, are you able to understand no alcohol? No alcohol. Three times I have written no alcohol, no alcohol, no alcohol, so that it can feed to your brain. Has it feed it to your brain? Now see kids. Explain. Nikhil is asking, explain me nature of CX bond. Which CX? Which CX? Which CX? Now see example number eight. Write it properly, I will answer it. Kid. Don't worry. Example number eight, see to it. But before that, let me tell you note number two. Note number two. Note 2, phenol, phenol doesn't react, phenol doesn't react with H ion. Now kids, is there any special thing about phenol or simply you can say yes, even we know. Phenol doesn't react with H ion. Is there something special or even we can say yeah, it's simple thing, see kids. Just try to understand the phenol. Phenol is like this. 100 times I have told you that any atom attached to sp2 hybridized carbon. Any atom attached to sp2 hybridized carbon. This thing I have told you or not. Any atom attached to sp2 hybridized carbon is very very poor leaving group right or you can think about yourself also that this oxygen's lone pair is involved in resonance once it is involved in resonance then this single bond has got single bond has developed partial double bond character, am I right? Now kids, that means this cannot react. Now third explanation I am going to give you, this is carbolic acid, its name is acid. And that is also acid, HI is also acid, this is carbolic acid, then how one acid can react with another acid, this is acid, this is acid, this is the third application, I hope that everyone is able to understand, now see kids, question number, example number 8, everyone see to it, example number 8, now example number 8 is, If I am provided with any salt, now kids, name is very, very important. If you don't know the name, you won't be able to give the answer. This is being any salt, any salt, any salt. Now, if I react any salt with either with HI, cold, or simply HI or hot and concentrated HI. Now kids, after this, after this only two questions more I will give you and then today's session will get ended. Today's session will get ended and today really we are going to create a history. It's a really going to be history that regularly, continuously for the four hours without any break, we are, we are studying, I'm teaching, you are studying, no secrets. In these two, what you are going to get? You will get phenol, SN2 reaction, ABN, ABN, then SN2, right? 
this is not going to break this is being a strong bond strong bond strong bond right this is being very very strong bond am i right this is not going to break so it will break from here and i negative will come over here and h will come over here so phenol plus methyl iodide no see kids in these two we have got this answer don't you think that here also we are going to get same answer because phenol will further not react with phenol plus hi no reaction no reaction no reaction so here also we are going to get the same answer are you able to understand kids are you getting my point Yeah, Shelva Kumar, yes, without any distraction, yeah, that is really very, very important. Yeah, now see kids, now 9th and 10th, two examples, they are killer examples, kids, and they are the last examples of today's lecture. Are you ready, everyone? Are you ready? Example number 9 and example number 10, they are they have been asked in AIMS examination. Wow, Buddha Surya, you are there now. Now see kids, now see example number nine kids. Mind blowing example. Can you see? Let me draw once again. Now, do let me know, if you see, do let me know SN2 or SN1, what type of reaction will take place, SN2 or SN1, I am waiting for your answer kids, SN2 or SN1, do let me know, it is 134, hit the like buttons, if not till now, make it 140, if SN1 or SN2, I am waiting for your answer kids. SN1 or SN2 kids, do let me know, SN1 or SN2, you are taking too much time kids, let me move aside and you do let me know what answer you are going to get kids, you think and you answer it, I am waiting for your answer kids, hey everyone, do let me know quick, quick. Quick, quick. Hey, hey, you are taking too much time, kids. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Just to let me know the answer. So, time is up. Let me give you the answer. See, have you ever eaten Britannia? Britannia biscuit. Britannia 50 50. Britannia 50 50. Vedhajanin, yeah, Madhavan Madhu's answer is correct. Only till now Madhavan Madhu answer is correct. Both C kits. Britannia 50-50. See, here no carbocation is stable. This is not stable. This is on benzene only. Plus charge on benzene is never stable. Plus charge on benzene is never stable. Phenyl. Plus charge on phenyl is never stable. Kits. Positive charge. on phenyl is not stable and they are also not stable. So, here 
SN2 reaction will take place, SN2. At this place, SN2. Now see, this carbon is having nine alpha hydrogen atoms. So here, SN1. You can see, if you are able to understand SN1 and SN2, then definitely you can answer it correctly. Now see how the reaction will take place, see kids. How the reaction is going to take place. If you are able to understand this much, you will definitely give the correct answer. CH2, CH3, it's like this. And O, CH3, uh -uh, O, carbon, O, carbon, CH3, CH3, CH3. Now, there SN2, during SN2 reaction, I is of smalu, this is smalu, and this is H. And here, the I will be of carbocation, so this is delta positive, this is delta negative. And I will attack over here and H will attack over here. Everyone is able to understand kids. Kids, everyone is able to understand. Do let me know. And new kids are there. If you are new to this channel, subscribe the channel and hit the like buttons. At least make it 140 kids. Your teacher is really working hard. Can you understand? Everyone, hit the like buttons. At least make it 140. At least make it 140. Now, see kids, if you are able to understand, see to it. Everyone see to it. This is oxygen negative. This will be of its and this will be of its. Right? And here, this oxygen will be of this proton and rest part is over here. So, can you understand what answer you are going to get? Everyone. Yeah, after four hours. New students are now joining. Yeah, 136. Kids, what are you doing? You are not liking HSP. Well, at least make 140. Now see what answer you are going to get. Answer will be, let me write down where to write. Where to write, kids? Let me write down over here. So that has separated as CH3, CH2I. This is one answer, right? This is one answer. Second, this OH and over here OH, oh my god, both the side OH, OH. What is the name of this compound? Qnol, Qnol, Qinol, Qnol is the name of this. And this is tertiary butyl iodide. So these are the three answers. These three are the answers. Everyone got it. After this, only I'm gonna request you, YouTube, to permit unlimited likes ability. Oh my god, Srinath, what a great demand from your side. Now, kids, last example I'm going to give you. Should I? Should I give you? Last example. If that example, if you are able to do, then I will give you the last one bonus one. That is first rank question. Now, see, kids, example number 10. If you are able to give the correct answer, anyone is able to give the correct answer for example number 10, then I will give you last one. Example number 10. Now kids, there is no book in the world. Let me tell you one thing. There is not a single book in the world in which the book, these examples are written all together. I am not saying that you will not get it. But no book, not a single book is there where you can find all these 10 examples. So kids, whenever the question is going to come, the, it will come from here only. Now see kids, example number 10. This is the question, right? Can you see? And this is allowed to react with HI. What do you think? What type of reaction will take place? 
so some some misprinting is there just wait just wait some misprinting is there kids Now it's okay. Now it's okay, kids. Kids, everyone, do let me know. Everyone, kids. Everyone, do let me know. Fast, fast. Hey kids, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Just give me the correct answer. Your Baba HSP is waiting for your answer, kids. SN1 or SN2, do let me know SN1 or SN2. Write down in the chat section, SN1 or SN2. Now let's see. Telugu Abhai, SN2, Srinath Shivakumar, SN2, Priyanka, SN1. I have told you about Britannia 50-50 kids. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? I've told you about Britannia 50-50, but you kids have forgotten. Have forgotten. See kids. This is the thing. That's why I was telling you, you are going to get paid. This is the charge going to be on penile, not stable, not stable. So not stable over here and not stable over there. So here the SN2 reaction will take place. Now you see, this is benzyl. The charge has to come on this carbon and this is going to be, that was phenyl. That was on phenyl. And here it is being benzyl. So this is being resonance stabilized, stabilized by resonance. So here SN1 reaction will take place. If you are able to understand this thing that both SN1 and SN2 reaction is going to take place after acid base neutralization, after ABN, ABN stands for acid base neutralization. Definitely SN2 and SN1, both the reactions are going to take place. So kids, then also you are going to give the correct answer once if you are able to understand if you are not able to understand this thing how you are going to give the correct answer kids if you are liking my this teaching awesome teaching kids hit the like buttons now everyone hit the like buttons make it 140 now I am going to write down the correct answer for this question everyone see to it everyone see to it now let me take another page and this page I will take which color this one is oh ho this one is I am going to take this color fantastic color or lovely color now only two pages I will use because we are going to end this lecture but yes I am going to tell you first the answer then the bonus question, that question, no one will be able to do it. No one will be able to do it. Example number 11. Now see kids. How to solve this question. The question was given like this. O CH2 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 O. I have drawn a figure a little bit bigger so that you can understand it. Now, their SN2 reaction and SN2 reaction, I will be of small u. I will be of small u, right? I will attack over here. H will attack over here. Let's make it clear that O negative will go along with this H plus and this I negative will go along with this carbon let us break this bond let us break that bond or see what you're going to get you will get something like this not something like that exactly like this o h c h 2 i c h 2 now o is there 
and CH2 is over there. Now you can see clearly this is the resonance stabilized, a resonance stabilized. So this is positive and this is being negative. So how HI is going to react? I will be of this carbocation and H will be of that. What you are going to get kids do let me know that you are able to understand or not. So the final answer is going to be like this. This OH, this CH2, I and that is going to be CH2I and CH2OH. Is it clear to all of you? Now, what's every question we have done with? Now only, only one last example gets last example. No one will be able to give the correct answer. C question. So everyone, before giving that question, hit the like button. Kids, at least make it 140. What are you doing? New strengths. Example number 11. You can treat this example as your question. You can take this example as question. Example number 11. It's a challenge. It's a challenge, kids. Accept it. Is the challenge accepted, kids? This is the question. This is the question. Challenge accepted. Okay. Do let me know. 137. Three more likes. Make it 140. Anhydrous HI. The name of this compound is methyl. Tertiary butyl ether. Now, your HSP Baba is waiting. Yes, kids, your HSP Baba is waiting for your answer. Yes, everyone, do let me know what's your answer. Yay, kids, I'm waiting for your answer. Yes, fast, fast, quick. And kids, let me tell you one thing. Options. Options. You just let me know SN1, SN2. I will give you the answer. SN1, SN2. You just do let me know. And kids, after studying from here, don't sleep. Have your dinner. And after dinner, you have to see this thing in your NCERT. Cleavage of ether. Let me tell you the details where it is given in your NCERT. I have got NCRT. Let me tell you whether where it is given. See, I have got NCRT. Let me let me tell you these things where they are given in NCRT. Cleavage of ether. Let me tell you cleavage of ether. First, let me give you the reference of NCRT. Because NCRT, you have to make bonding with NCRT. You should know NCRT what is given and where it is given. You should have to have knowledge of this much thing. Otherwise, you won't be able to uh, make it fruitful. Now, cleavage of ether. Let me tell you, cleavage of ether, cleavage of ether is given NCERT corner because I taught you, you have to understand NCERT corner, once concept, you should know how to read NCERT, how to read NCERT, otherwise you won't be able to do anything, cleavage of ether, 
it's given in page number it's given on page number uh, it's 339 339340 341 and this is old NCRT and if I talk about new NCRT in new NCRT plus 8 plus 8 you can eight, add, add 8 you will get new NCRT whether you are having old NCRT new NCRT it doesn't matter because your HSP Baba is teaching you concept you are going to get from here now kids after my teaching you have to see this NCRT if you're not going to see no problem but you will get your super awesome confidence now kids Williamson synthesis is given on page number 337 Williamson synthesis Three thirty-seven old NCRT. So new. If you want to see new, add eight. Can you add it? Seven, eight, fifteen, four, three, forty-five. New NCRT. And rest of the things what I taught you. Rest of the things what I taught you. Let me tell you where they are given. Finkelstein and all. Finkelstein and all. And the chart is given that. Whole chart is given 292. Most of the reactions are given on 292 page old NCRT. If I talk about new NCRT, add it, you will get on page number 300, new one. And let me tell you this is, let us suppose A, B, C, aryl, vinyl, allyl, all these are given. One day I have told you allyl halide. Swartz reaction is given on page number Swartz 289. Swartz is given on 289. Swartz, Winkelstein, 289 page old NCRT. Now, aryl vinyl, where they have, they have given aryl vinyl, aryl vinyl, they are given on page number 283. 283 page, 283 page, vinyl, aryl, these things are given over there. So kids, see how much I am helping and let's come. Now, now let's come to this question. What's your answer kids? What's your answer? What's your answer kids? Do let me know. Everyone, should I tell you? Should I tell you? Should I let you know, kids? See, kids, maximum 99% students, they will write 99% students, they will write SN1. And this is going to be wrong. Zero marks you will get. This is absolutely wrong answer wrong they will just see tertiary butyl and they will mark for it just focus over here kids this is anhydrous hi no water is there no water means no polar protic solvent pps no pps means no carbocation formation Now, no carbocation formation means kids, no SN1. No water, so no PPS, no PPS, so no solvation, no solvation, so no carbocation formation, no SN1. Everyone agreed? So, definitely it will follow SN2 reaction and SN2 reaction, just focus on anhydrous. I negative will attack on small o. I negative will attack on least sterically endured. So this is SN2 reaction. It will follow SN2 reaction. It is SN2. Kids, really, it was awesome session that for the four and four hours plus few minutes, 4 hours, 15 minutes, 
let's celebrate it's really your potential i would like to say it's your potential just try to understand your potential it's your potential kids nikhil what's your doubt just ask me immediately because i have to do my dinner also nikhil what's your question just ask me the question hurry up and everyone it's 138 make it 140 and gets next lecture i will let you know arsn2 arsn1 aromatic substitution so sir emr what is emr i will never forget today's live so awesome session yeah gets electromagnetic radiation emr okay so you can see electromagnetic radiation what is the question in electromagnetic radiation cgx uv i m r cosmic rays they are highly energetic than gamma rays than x rays ultraviolet visible infrared micro waves radio waves radio waves have least energetic maximum wavelength so cgx uv i m r homework question yeah let's finish with the homework question see kids your homework question is this is homework this is homework and let me make it a deep blue deep blue deep blue this is homework question kids deep blue c homework question so the question is panitol panitol reacts with hi hot and concentrated hi is being hot and concentrated it has given a and b it has given a plus b now a is halogen product halo derivative halo alkane and a has been further treated with a has been further treated with NaNH2 NaNH2 to give C what is C you are supposed to find out C this is your homework question this is your homework question kids you are supposed to find out what you are supposed to find out C so i will wait for this answer in the comment section okay kids kids thank you nikhil thank you yeah i have seen your comment nikhil are you happy i have given the answer of your question cgx uvi mr just remember cgx uvi mr bye all the best bye kids we'll meet you in next session till that time go with the ncert and definitely you will feel confident you will feel confident that yes whatever i told you whatever i taught you you can see each and every word is you are able to understand of ncert so bye kids bye 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 good night may almighty god bless you with all happiness prosperity and the peace of mind in this chaotic world we have to find out the peace of mind in the middle of this chaos chaotic world bye kids bye all the best god bless you thank you buddha surya nikhil shiva kumar shrinath 
ज्योति विधा जननी बाय बेटा बाय बाय आरबी बिच्छू वाईटी बाय लक्ष्मी नारायण बाय बुद्धा सारे सूर्या बाय बेटा बाय बाय अजान बाय बेटा बाय गुड नाइट गुड नाइट अजान बाय गुड नाइट यस शिव कुमार यस यस थैंक यू थैंक यू किड्स